Opie and Anthony. You can just tell that there was bloody child's underpants in one of their apartments. <laughs> Opie, we're worse than serial killers. Yeah, well, I don't understand what's so bad about teen guess what's in my pants. The Opie and Anthony Show. What a show this is. <laughs> <laughs> And we're back with the O&A show. Guitarist from Weezer uh, is in the nut house. For what reason? He checked himself into the kook bin. Yeah, don't look at your headphones like that, Obi. I'm looking at the same thing. Someone, why do people screw with stuff in, in this studio? It's muddy now, right? Are you hearing yourself completely muddy? Yeah, it sucks. Yeah, that's what I'm hearing, too. It's making me yell. No one out there sounds like crap. I understand, but uh, no, because it probably sounds like crap out there too. Our voices sound really whacked in our headphones, and it's very distracting. Then Pete will come in and go, "I changed that." Oh, that's better. That's it. That's better. How's that for you? You like that? Yeah. Nice. That's better. Which button are we supposed to have down? The pre-delay monitor or the one that says this one? I like when, this because when you push the button that says this one, boink, you get crap, you get oh. crap the mud. Turn that off. So you go to this one, nice. which isn't the one you're supposed to push because it yeah. doesn't say this one on this one. <laughs> now that's much better. Let Pete much... Johnson, crack engineer, explain what those buttons do. Pete Johnson, I I'm just curious. We won't take too much time with this. Hi, Pete Johnson. Hello. Pete, are we supposed to push down the one that says this one or the one that doesn't say this one? Pre delay. Pre delay? Yeah. So why do we have this one? Because that used to be this one. And who pushed oh, that one down? This one used to be that one. Oh, but now this one isn't that one. The one that isn't this one is that one. Exactly. All right. Well, that's perfectly explained. Right on, Pete. Thank you. Thank you, Pete Johnson. Makes perfect sense. This one is no longer that one. I know. Wow, thank God that was fixed. We learned something right off the bat today on the ONA show. All right, we got to get going with a, a radio program here. If you're in the New York area, 877-692-1027. Anywhere else, we want to hear from you as well. Uh, 866-2774-WOW. Yes, Anthony? Was uh, anybody at the uh, Hooters uh, signing last night? Did uh, we have any people? I I'm hearing from two groups of people. People that were there and able to stay. And people that were there and thrown out. <laughs> Seems like a lot of people got <laughs> like thrown out. Like a lot out. of people got thrown out. We'll get into the whole Hooters mess in a little while, Ant. All right? Yeah, because it was a lot of fun. we got to say hi to everybody that made it down. We have a bunch of pictures up on opianthony.com from last night's festivities. Uh, the picture is uh, kind of boring. Yeah, you know, you might people coming up. You see a few cans and whatnot. Yeah, you might get an idea of what was going on. Uh, we'll get into it in a little bit. Yeah. But i I got to tell you, man, thank God I don't have a... You know, a shallow ego or anything. Why is that? Well, every day we we come into work, we go into our office, and uh, plunk down on our, all our desks is all the negative press for the day for us to read. With a show like this, bring it on. Bring it on. We don't care. You're just making us bigger. I enjoy it. Dean Johnson, you effing tool from the Boston Herald, you piece of crap. Used to kiss our ass when we were at AF. What's the problem, dick? Remember, he was all nice to us when we used to uh, go to events and whatnot. He'd want exclusive interviews with us. And um, now he seems to be a little ang angry with us. Uh, he's program. a guy that kisses AF's ass in Boston. And he's on AF's side. Yeah. And he's a little pissed off that we gave the exclusive that we're coming back to Boston to Jim Sullivan from the Globe. Mm -hmm. So he decides to write a piece of crap article on us today in the Boston Herald. Well, they got to choose their sides, Opie. It's just uh, sad that he'll choose the losing side of uh, AAF. I don't want to bore people to death, but uh, yeah, we've been we've been back in Boston uh, maybe a week. We have no listeners whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We have some of our uh, old uh, old fans checking in so far, and they're spreading the word. And we're going to build an audience once again in faithful. Boston, and we will kick everyone's ass in Boston. There's no doubt in our mind. Right. And everyone is seeing way into the fact that we're back in Boston. They think the station we're on, uh, WBCN, is, is uh, you know, now changing formats because Anthony and I are on, on the airwaves. Hey, it's not like they you put... stupid douches. It's not like they put Rush Limbaugh on, you know? It's us. It's us. We're a rock and roll talk show. Yeah. They, they think we're not going to play any music whatsoever. They, they think we're not going to be talking to all the cool bands that are out there now. Mm -hmm. You freaking tools. Just wait and see what we do to you in this, in this stupid city. Look what we do to you now. Not that Boston's a stupid city. I'm just pissed off. <laughs> Dean Johnson. Doesn't even get the characters of the show right. Awful. 
We'll get into that a little bit. We'll get Dean on the phone if he's brave enough to see if we can get Dean on the phone. Is that Dean on the phone? Really like to uh, straighten a few things out with him. Everyone running around scared in Boston because we're back. Yeah, they, well, you know what it is? They're trying to fit us into a, a little category of talk and um, trying to spin it that way. This isn't your normal talk show, people. And and Dave Dickless from AF, our old program director that didn't yeah. stand up for us and stabbed us in the back when we uh, did the whole mayor's prank. Yeah. Ha ha. Not, you can't use the S word, Opie. I had to dump out. You, he's he a takes piece out, of ass, you He could takes say. out a whole ad in r and saying, you know, uh, BCN, thanks for the last 33 years. Uh, good luck with the new format. The new format. Oh, oh, oh. I bet he was just cranking it uh, out to that one. What a genius I am. Oh, oh. It's not a new format, my friend. Spin it all you like. I'm going to be kicking your ass, dickless. You just watch all the bands that start appearing on our show and playing live. You just watch. I can't wait to kick everyone's ass in Boston. Dave Dickless, who are you going to uh, put in uh, afternoons after Rock Hole just goes down the crapper? Who are you going to put there? Hmm. Right. Are you even going to be there anymore, Dickless? Hmm. Hmm, Dave. What are you going to do? Take an ad out in the R&R? &R? Congratulations. Good luck with the new format. Ooh, 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 you got us. What a great game. <laughs> That's almost as good as flying a plane over Fenway to pick Rocco's new sidekick at random. Another phony thing. More fake radio. You'll see. You'll see. Hey, come on. I got to eat. WBCN in Boston is bigger and better than ever. You, yep. just, you just watch what we end up doing. Here it comes. You just watch how we keep the heritage uh, at WBCN. Bunch of tools up there. Remember, Dave, how you used to giggle like a chick? I used to giggle like a school bitch when we used to tool on people when we were uh, at your station? Remember that? We were doing that for us, for our show, Dave, not for you. And now that we're um, your enemy, it's going to come back at you. Remember all that stuff? Remember how you used to giggle? Now you'd be in the fetal position in the shower, weeping. I'm already getting reports from Boston that people are coming up to the Rocco and going, F Rocco, F A F. Yeah. We were the ones that made AF in Boston cool to listen to, and we will make it uncool to listen to. Simple as that. Simple as effing that. And we have an army in place up in Boston. Mm -hmm. They're gathering again. They're starting to realize, holy S, these, these tools are back on the airwaves in Boston. Wait till we send up all our, our, our boys and girls from New York to the Boston colleges oh, in yeah. a couple of weeks. It's going to be a nightmare for gonna you It's going to be guys. an insane army up there. So lucky that you tape your phone calls and edit them in clever little ways to make them sound fun by putting fake things in. Rocco, so lucky you do that because if you took live phone calls, you'd be barraged. You'd be barraged, Frank. Well, Rocco, whatever, <laughs> whatever you're calling yourself. Frank. Speaking of Frank, give me a hot dog. You would sit there and have to take calls. Ev! Hey, Rocco, Frank, you suck. Yeah, shut up. Hey, back to music, I don't know what to do. He'd be dying. But he tapes the phone calls, and then if they don't go well, he, um, he'll he edit it and throw in lines and words and and comments to the caller that they never heard in the first place. More phony fake radio. So... There you have it. Yeah. Spin it all you like, you know. Thanks for the last 33 years. Good luck with the new format. <laughs> Dave Dickless, you piece of crap. <laughs> we have so many surprises for you, you don't, you don't even know. You're going to be weeping in the corner like Glenn Close from the Big Chill. Yep. In the fetal position, sucking your thumb. <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> Make it stop. <laughs> Make it stop. Damn it. I don't know what to do. So, just another crappy article on you and I in the Boston Papers today, Anthony. Never had to deal with us. We were an ally at one point. Now we are the enemy. And we will take our fans out of exile and vanquish you. Vanquish you! <laughs> or, you know, kick your ass in the rating. Dean, hey, Dean Johnson in the Boston Herald today. BCN is working hard to keep up its faltering music image, even during Opie and Anthony shows. Last week, there were backstage reports from the OzFest and Rock News reports during breaks. 
This is still a rock and roll show, my friends. Just wait and see. All right, Ant. Moving on to the next uh, next piece of business in the newspaper. Yeah. Well, this one, this one is going national, my friends. Yeah. You watch this uh, thing grow into it, something uncontrollable. It's already starting to grow. It started in a Westchester paper. The patent trader. What the hell is the patent trader? The patent trader. It's a newspaper from where? Uh, North Westchester. North Westchester. North Westchester's community newspaper since 1956. Uh-huh. And uh, we made the front page of the news, I guess, a couple days back. Thanks for the heads up, by the way. A lot of people sent this article in. Uh, it says, shock jocks. Shock jocks ads whipped off county buses. You know, I'm going to go around with a cattle prod so that when the reporters say, are you shock jocks, then you really put like 25,000 volts in their ass? And go, yeah, because I hate that. Shock jock. Ugh. Listen to this. Bunch of wimps in local government up there in uh, northern Westchester. Officials remove bus billboards in the wake of a complaint. One person complained they got rid of all our advertising up in uh, the North Westchester area, Anthony. Uh -huh. We have a huge campaign going on, If uh, not to bore you, but uh, it's basically our wow bumper stickers. And they're on billboards, they're on subway platforms, train uh, stops, uh, mm -hmm. back of buses, I said. Uh, we even have a, a three-story by three-story wow billboard in the middle of Times Square. Yep. That you can see on TRL pretty much every day. How long do you think that's going to be up? Uh, matter of fact, hold on. Uh, well, we'll get into it in a second. Mike, what's up? Opie, Anthony, what's up? Hey. This morning on the Channel 11 Morning News, uh, the, the wow sign in Times Square, clear as day. <laughs> I know. We're, we're going to have that clip on foundrymusic.com. Yeah, the uh, the local news, Channel 11 in New York, they opened up their newscast with a shot of Times Square, and there, in all its glory, is our huge wow billboard in the middle, middle of Times Square. Yep. It was so, pretty cool, man. Well, you watch what happens starting today, my friend. Hey, when's Dice coming back on? Um, sooner than later. Sooner than later, that's all I can say. None of your business, okay? Check your face. Hopefully before we go on vacation, <laughs> we'll we'll hear from him, okay? When are you guys going on vacation? Uh, late next week. All right. But we have great, great stuff. Oh, what are we going to fake a suspension? <laughs> <laughs> no, just going on vacation. No, no. We don't fake suspensions on our show. It really happens. Isn't that strange? A whole year goes by. I never take vacation, but I get a two-week suspension every year. At the same time. <laughs> when it's not the spring or fall book, because the summer book doesn't mean much in the radio world. <laughs> Too funny. So I'll make sure I do my fake suspension in the summer. Dave, I'm putting in for suspension. I want to go to Florida. <laughs> fake. <laughs> All right. Officials removed bus billboards in the wake of a complaint. Forty billboards were pulled from Westchester County B-Line buses last week after county officials learned the ads were promoting a raunchy radio team. Who could that be? That would be you and I. Act. How about that? The advertisements, which featured the word wow in yellow lettering against a black background, were taken off uh, county buses last Tuesday and Wednesday, according to Lawrence uh, Sally, commissioner of the Westchester County Department of Transportation. Mm. County officials said they were not aware that wow in the ads stands for Whip Em Out Wednesday. Who doesn't know that by now? And as a promotion for the Opie and Anthony show, which airs daily, excuse me, daily, daily, which airs daily. All sorts of uh, news stations are taping us right now, so great. I'm going to get to check that out tonight on Channel 5 News, me slurring that word, which airs daily on WNEW. Listeners apply WOW bumper stickers to their vehicles with the hope that female listeners will see the sticker and bear their breasts. Yeah, that's one meaning of WOW, right, Anthony? Another one is uh, people just put the stickers on as support for the show. Say, hey, you know, I'm listening. Yeah, there are a lot of ladies that put WOW in their car, and they don't want to see nothing. They're just supporting the show. That it. doesn't mean that there's a lady in this car that's wowing. They're just supporting the show. And it also definitely means whip them out Wednesday. We're not gonna, oh, yeah. We're not going to try to back down and, uh, you know, cower to the man. Westchester County Executive Andrew Spano received the complaint via email on August 3rd regarding the bus billboards, according to Donna Green, a spokeswoman for Spano. The email writer, a woman who said she was offended by the ads, uh, tipped officials off to the meaning of wow. The email complaint was forwarded to Sally, who ordered the billboards removed and then turned into the... Uh, oh, oh, 
uh, who ordered the billboards removed and then tuned into the program. It's hard to read because it's a copy of a copy. It's not something I would listen to, and I wouldn't let my young daughters listen to it. Yes. He said. By Wednesday, August 8th, the beeline was wow free. Wow free. Thank God. You know how many lives they saved by pulling wow? Oh, that's right. None. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank God the word wow isn't on the back of a bus. Is it really that offensive? That's the question I have today. Is it is, really that offensive? Is the word wow? Not, it doesn't even say whip them out Wednesday on anything. Was anyone actually offended when they saw W-O-W -W written on a bus board, driving down the road on a bus? Did you look and go, oh, my God, as if you just saw the worst hardcore pornography on the back of a bus? I'd say no. One woman email. One woman emails. All of a sudden, they go on a frenzy to get all these billboards off the buses. Yeah. One woman email. Bunch of tools up there. Joe. Yeah. Joe, what's up? Hey guys. Hey. This article is sponsored by the National Organization of Women. Uh, <laughs> sponsor. No, they got their claws in, in the middle of this mess. Yeah. Huh? They no. got their cat claws in it. No, this negative press sponsored by Lifestyles Condoms. When you're going to get effed, you might as well use Lifestyles Condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Later, guys. All right. Thank you, Rule. Uh, Sally said he ins he inspects each ad placed on Beeline buses, but did not realize this one's meaning. I thought it was, wow, listen to this radio station. Yeah. <laughs> It could mean that. You know, we did talk to this paper, and they have our yeah, quotes. It's always fun to read, because, you know, when we're doing this on the air, we're just goofing off, and, uh, you know, we don't give a flying F. It's, and then when you read it, it's like, ooh, I said that. Let's see what we said. In, in an on-air interview with the patent trader August 9th, the shock jocks were surprised to hear about the, the county's decision. They then launched into a tirade against the county for bowing down to groups that have some letterhead and think they have power. Groups? I, I was wrong. It was bowing down to one person that sent an email. My God, man. Yeah, it wasn't even like a campaign. It was one no, lady. No, it was one lady emailed, said, I'm offended by wow, and that's it. So I guess if you um, call up and, and say you're offended by something else you see on one of these bus boards, they'll just pull it off, right? Right? Yeah, you yeah. might as well. If it offends one person, they got to just take off all the uh, billboards. Uh, let's see what else it says. Uh, the duo said, the duo said this was the first time they have heard complaints about their advertising. The billboards are common in New York City, said Opie, whose real name is Greg Hughes. Ooh, oh, you got gotcha. me. Oh, you got something on me that no one else knows. Oh my God, print it. <laughs> you idiot. Gotcha. It's not my real name, you jerk. Haha, -ha, they didn't get me, did they? It's my birth name. I, I, I've had this stupid name since I was 12. Which one, Greg Hughes? No, <laughs> my parents don't even call me by the name they gave me. I just have one. And I don't acknowledge my last name at this uh, time in my career. You don't? No. I don't acknowledge it. <laughs> I'm like Prince and Cher. And I go by one name. And Madonna. And Madonna. <laughs> yeah, look, you got that whole thing going. You've never heard Madonna, me... Madonna, Cher, Opie. <laughs> You've never heard me say Opie Hughes, right? No. I don't acknowledge my last name. And my uncles nah. and aunts and cousins couldn't be happier. Entree. <laughs> uh, then it says, you can't go a block without seeing a city bus with a wow on it, Hughes said. Uh, we have a wow billboard in the middle of Times Square. Three stories by three stories. Uh, Who said that, Abbott? Hughes said it. I didn't say anything, Abbott. Look at us being <laughs> Kreskin here. Why? As Hughes said, the incident would generate publicity for their program, which was recently nationally syndicated. Mm -hmm. Hughes' partner, Anthony Cumia. Damn it, he got me. <laughs> Damn it, I'm hit. I thought I got away unscathed by his deep digging reporting of my name. And you know they did some uh, deep digging reporting to try to find out your last name. What's his last name? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> uh, Hughes partner uh, Anthony Cumia said there are more pressing issues in the region. I think there are 20 billion things more offensive on the street than the letters wow on the back of a bus. People know we're all about having fun. L uh, Levy plans to send letters to the station uh, protesting the slogan and will contact other now members. Ah, protest all you want. Your letters go in the garbage. You know what people do with uh, now? They take a line, you put it by the end, and it turns it into wow real easy. I've seen some now stickers turn into wow stickers. 
So this is where it gets interesting, my friend. Yes, it does. So this appeared a couple days ago. Mm -hmm. And we thought it was just kind of going to go away. <laughs> now the journal news is getting involved. I haven't even... Here, you want to read this one? I haven't even read this one yet. This came out today, right? The journal news? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is in... Um, this another is newspaper? Yeah. The journal news. I guess I guess it's the competition of the patent trader in northern Westchester community. Ooh. Newspaper war. <laughs> Westchester County stripped 40 ads off the backs of its beeline buses after county officials learned they urge women to bear their breasts. <gasps> the four foot by three foot ads, dominated by the word WOW, an acronym for Whip Em Out Wednesday. It's not an acronym, it just, it's short for it. <laughs> Our promotion for the Opie and Anthony show, which airs daily on WNEW, of course. Listeners slap wow bumper stickers on their cars and trucks, hoping women will flash their breasts as they drive by. Ellen Aflaherty of Yorktown Heights complained about the bus ads via email. Oh, it puts her name in the paper. Ellen Aflaherty. Hmm. Yorktown Heights. She complained about the bus ads via email August 3rd, according to county spokeswoman Donna Green. She said she was raising two pre-teenage uh, daughters, insert joke here, and didn't believe female taxpayers <laughs> should be encouraged to whip out their breasts. Female tax... But what does tax paying have to do with it? <sighs> Second woman also complained, but and, county and officials couldn't really locate do we really encourage him. people to do this? We always say, if you feel like it, do it. If not, whatever. It's out there. And we're like, don't harass the ladies. There's plenty of ladies that'll just do it. Right. Because they want to. Because they feel the power of their boobies. Look at this. A second woman also complained, but county officials couldn't locate her email yesterday. The complaints were forwarded to County Transportation Commis Commissioner Lauren Sally, who had never heard the radio show and had no idea what Flaherty meant. He asked around and found a young male staffer who explained the wow phenomenon. <laughs> Could you imagine this going on in the office? Get that... Get that young go-getter Johnson in here. <laughs> Get me that young go-getter. He'll know. Yes, boss? What is this wow? Well, it's whip em out Wednesday, and it's a phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go far, boy. <laughs> like the Daily Planet or something. Once I checked into it and found out what it meant, I pulled the ads. Oh, Sally said. Doing your job. Way to very go. Very good. Very good. We found it offensive. I thought it was certainly exploitive of women, and that's not something that w this county will condone. The ads were history by August 8th. No one's weird out of all the ads you see out there. They're worried about the word wow. You know, I don't care what they put on ads. I would have a big ad for the F word on the side of a bus. I could care less. There's sometimes that you drive and you pull up next to a bus and see an ad and go, holy jeez. Like, I'm ready to hit the car in front of me because I'm looking at the girl right. on this ad. Right. Just breasts just about out to the nip point. What about those jean ads where the girl's on the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the old car seat and it looks like the middle of the desert? Yeah. And, and it just basically says, F me? Yeah, that one was out by the Midtown Tunnel here in New York. It was a huge billboard of a girl sitting on a car seat, uh, legs apart. You could see her undies. The hottest goddamn billboard ever. But if you're going to be offended by something like, wow, and you're not, certainly going to be offended by that. They're selling jeans by saying, oh, yeah, F this chick. Yeah. Bill Hicks, Bill Hicks has a great bit about that, how to sell soda and stuff, and how he would have an ad for uh, soda. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, it's a picture of what a lady kind of just like with her hand down near her. I forget exactly how the bit goes, down near her privates. Yeah. And it's very, you know, suggestive and all that. And, it, and all it says in the ad is drink Coke. Drink Coke. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. The ads were history by August 8th. Even without the controversy, they were due to re be replaced August, 24, uh, August 21st. Cheapos. Sally tuned in for curiosity's sake and then tuned out the shock jocks. I was not impressed, said Sally, who favors jazz stations. Oh, Darn it! <laughs> we were trying to turn you around, Damn. Sally. I thought we'd have him. She prefers jazz. No, that's um, what? I, it's a it's a guy, Lawrence Sally. Oh, Lawrence. Yeah, Sally. that's his last name. Lawrence Sally is the guy that got the young go getter to tell him what wow meant. I would bet money that Lawrence would enjoy, uh, you know, a pair of boobs driving home from his uh, little job. Johnson, come in here immediately. You listen to those guys. 
Well, yeah, boss, I find him funny. I'm not impressed. <laughs> Sit with me. We're going to listen to jazz all day. Okay, boss. Let's give me a Chuck Mangione block. I... <laughs> Spyro Gyra. On the ones. Sit down, Johnson, and listen to Kenny G. I think it's shock radio and rather juvenile, Sally said. The county rejects ads for guns, liquor, and cigarettes, along with ads that are political or sexually explicit. These are the first bus ads to be pulled since the county first started posting them last year. Nice! Another, like another first. first for our show. The county won't lose any money by doing so, Sally said. It has a $6.5 million three-year advertising contract with Viacom. The producer of the radio program could not be reached for comment. <laughs> what happened, Rick? You couldn't be reached? I couldn't be reached. Hmm. Interesting. Unreachable. Sally said the county had received only one other complaint about an ad. It was an advertisement for the History Channel. Had a picture of the founding fathers along with the phrase not found in most children's history books. An image of Ben Franklin, for instance, was accompanied by the word womanizer. Of course, we didn't pull that ad. We had one comment from one person, and there was nothing offensive about it at all. Okay. All right, get this. The History Channel puts out an ad. It's got an image of the Founding Fathers and says things that most people don't know about the Founding Fathers. Ben Franklin, I guess, was a womanizer. So it had Ben Franklin, womanizer. Watch the History Channel, learn more about Ben Franklin. Somebody called up. One person Are said they were offended. They didn't pull the ad. Are you trying to say we're more offensive than Ben Franklin? Being a... Whoa. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, Mr. Sally, how do you feel about Socrates? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're more offensive than Ben Franklin. Yeah, maybe you'll end up on the $10 bill. All right. He's an awesome dude and a womanizer. <laughs> 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 Mr. Ben Franklin. <laughs> Great. But they got one complaint for ours. One complaint, complaint, one complaint for the womanizing Ben Franklin. Yeah. But they pull our, yeah. our app. Yeah, yeah. All right, there you go. That's it. His defense for the whole Ben Franklin thing is, well, of course we didn't pull that ad. We had one comment from one person. All right. So, <laughs> one comment from one person ours. All right, so, so follow this. So now we're in uh, two uh, local newspapers up there, okay? Yeah. This is where it gets interesting. It has hit hit the AP wire, Anthony. The AP. Which means every media outlet in America has what I'm about to read. The Associated Press is um, news aids, pretty much. It's the one that just spreads out and gives it to everybody. There it is. There it is. No one goes untouched with AP. And already two stations in New York have read this story from AP. Both local news stations in, in New York. And now what? We got a call from Fox 5. News. Fox 5 taping our, our first break here. They're going to be running some of the audio when they report on this tonight on the 10 o'clock news. All right. It, uh, it reads, when wow means more than holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up on the 10 o'clock news. These signs look harmless. <laughs> you know, I, can I, I love when the news does that, the big tease. And coming up later, this wow didn't wow people in Westchester <laughs> as they had to. We talked with Lawrence Sally yeah, yeah, and yeah. his young go-getter, Mr. Johnson. <laughs> what does wow really mean? We'll tell you. You've seen him around town. You've seen him on buses, even in Times Square. We'll tell you one town that wanted no part of wow. Is there an offensive <laughs> billboard in your neck of the woods? Wait, wait, wait. Why? Wait, I couldn't wait, say wait. that? No, you can't say At that. At least it doesn't say the C word. I, you had to dump out of that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I yeah, thought yeah, I could yeah, say yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Do you know what your children are reading on the way to school? It might look harmless enough. Wow kills. Anyway, here's the AP story. When wow means more than holy cow. Westchester County officials pulled an ad for a radio show from 40 County buses last week. Once they figured out what it meant, the posters for the Opie and Anthony show on WNEW in New York were dominated by the word wow and seemed innocent. 
But County Transportation Commissioner Lauren Sally says a couple of residents complained. The commissioner learned that to, uh, to listeners of the Opie and Anthony show, WOW stands for Whip Em Out Wednesday and is supposed to urge women to bare their breasts. Mm -hmm. Sally says that's offensive and exploitative of women. Rick Delgado, producer of the radio program, declined to comment. What did they call you? The Why MPs are they calling you? Rick? Last producer night. Rick. After our Hooters mess? After, no, no, it was uh, cool. just before I got down to Hooters. I was sending out stuff to uh, a, a couple of our affiliates. It's too bad they didn't get us after the Hooters mess. We would have yeah, had a yeah. lot of comments. Yeah. So now, now this story is spreading like wildfire all over, all over the place. And we couldn't be happier. This is, uh... uh, Rob, what's up? Hey, how you doing? This is uh, News 12 in Westchester. We're calling you guys because all the county officials... Uh, do... Rob? Yeah. Uh, I didn't hear what you said. Where are you from? News 12 in Westchester. <laughs> well, listen, let me tell you why we're calling you. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're calling you because all these county officials who go on our air every day refuse to talk to us about this. They do. So we're going to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And will you be doing a story on this tonight? Yes, we will. In between the, the pet report? <laughs> we'll get it on. <laughs> like Rob's their go-getter. Are you one of their reporters, well, Mr. Rob? Mr. Sal yeah, I'm a reporter. Mr. Sally and his young go-getter refused to talk to us. They did, did they? Yes, they did. See, they don't want this blowing up into some big story. Hey, Rob. Yeah. Here's the real deal. Uh, we don't give a flying F what uh, you guys do with this. Right. Just make sure when you show the video of the wow billboard, it's nice and big on the TV screen. <laughs> Well, we got it right now on the phone when it says Opie and Anthony, uh, NEW radio host, and we have the WOW uh, bumper sticker right up on the uh, screen. That's it. That's and we went out and we got some WOW stickers on cars. See, this is what's so funny <laughs> about uh, this type of crap. Like, um, you know, they're, the, the, built, the, the bus signs all over uh, northern Westchester, okay? And people check them out. Not everyone, though. Okay. Yeah. Now these do-gooders think they're they're helping out the whole community and they're getting rid of all the wow billboards, right? Yep. It it's, creates a controversy. Now you got news organizations and TV stations calling up Opie and Anthony, and now it's all over their news reports. What is that doing? People that never would have known what wow meant now will read the paper and know what it meant. They'll watch TV and and know what it meant. So it's better than having the bus signs out there. These people are stupid. If you don't like something, just let it go away. Don't draw attention to it. You're just making it bigger. No, they got to make it look like they're um, doing the right thing, that they're being politically correct and def defending and helping their constituency. Of course they are. We're going to be all over the news tonight, all over the place. Is this live on TV right now? This is not live. No, we're taping it. Thank God. <laughs> Hey, you're gonna. Uh, I guess a lot of people will be turning into uh, your show now. Of course they will. Are, are, are you going to run this uh, before or after the local farm report? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a local farm report. You're taping it on a top-load VCR? <laughs> <laughs> no? No. You got all the modern equipment? Hey, Rob, you know you yeah. want to laugh. Come on. No, I'm laughing. I listen to you guys. All right, good. Cool. All right, what else do you need to know, Rob? I wanted to come down and be on the show, but they said that you guys didn't want to do it. You want to bring a camera crew and stuff? Yeah. God. <laughs> it's just, you know what it is? It's a pain in the ass to do a show when uh, camera crews are in here. All right, you're tight. Yeah. Hey, did you t uh, type the news tees yet? Um, I'm not sure. I think they're just going to run a little piece on it for five, and then we'll have you guys on for, uh, well, maybe we'll have you on for five, too, but then we'll have you on again at ten. What's so the guy going to say? Wow, what does it mean? We'll tell you next. <laughs> the big tees. Well, I think the most interesting thing about the story is what you said before, is that one caller uh, complained, and then it was yanked. One caller. See that? See what what, what about all the other uh, people in the community that enjoy our show, enjoy the uh, advertising? True. And don't find it, find it offensive in any way. I hate these do good. We let, think let me, they know what they're doing for everyone else. Here's my statement, Rob. Okay. We are now, we are living in a society that is worse than it was in the McCarthy communist days <laughs> with communism. Because if you're perceived as being a sexist or a racist or homophobic by um, doing things that you would do on a, a humorous show like this, all done with caring and love. Uh, it, it's worse than it was in the uh, the old days with the uh, communists. You uh, you're perceived that way, and people are so scared that by one phone call you'll pull an entire ad campaign. 
because they're afraid to be lumped in with that they are supporting, oh, my God, women's breasts. Eek. Eek. And, uh, and Rob, I don't want to be left out because uh, what Ann said was really, really good. So if, <laughs> if, uh, if you could just add this at the end for okay. me, just so I'm part of this. Sure. Uh, Opie says, your mom's box. <laughs> 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 closing well, words, famous closing words on this show. Well, what do you guys think about the, the the county officials not knowing what WoW meant? They knew. They're backpedaling. They thought that they honestly thought that the bus sign said WoW. Listen, Topi and Anthony. <laughs> that would be some lame campaign that a radio station would run, though. When you think about it, WoW. Listen to these guys, three to seven. WoW. <laughs> you know, it is kind of dopey like that. But um, they they just had to they had to react. To one email. All right, Rob, we're done with you. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. There goes Rob. Now someone's got to um, watch us on uh, what? News 12? News 12, Westchester. Westchester, 5 o'clock. We'll even run the... 5 and 10. We'll even run the audio live on our show today at 5, so someone help us out. There you go. Set it up nice. Get You know, get your phone nice right next to the TV. I want to hear the tease and everything. Yeah, we need the tease and everything. And That's coming right. up, Set Whip your... About Wednesday, Re special investigative report tonight on News 12. Set your VCRs. <laughs> Record it for us, okay? All right, we have to take a break, Anthony. We're just getting started. Right. Our buddy, our pal Jim Brewer, coming in today. Very got... funny on Conan last night. We got to talk about Marilyn Manson. Maybe we could do that next. <laughs> the guy is out of his mind. And we want to talk about uh, Blind Matt's junk. <laughs> Do we have to? Yeah, because we were laughing really hard in the back office about it. <laughs> it's just another example of how God is just a cruel bastard. <laughs> we'll get into it next. Hello, this is Newman. And you're listening to Opie and Anthony. <laughs> Don't change the dial. <laughs> 1027 WNEW announces our new fall lineup. Sports Guys mornings, Don and Mike, middays. Opie and Anthony afternoons, Ron and Fez nights. 1027 WNEW. Anthony Hotwire. Hotwire. You want to save money on travel? You want to save money on hotels? You want to save money on rental cars? Yeah, don't you go away. Do it easy over the internet. Hotwire. Do you really have to bid to get great travel deals online? No. Hotwire can save you cash. Brewer! If you can be a little flexible with your flight times, that's because Hotwire has hot fares, special negotiated deals. You can't get anywhere else. <laughs> These Hotwire hot fares are good on airfare, hotel rooms, and rental cars. And it's easy. Hotwire only shows you the best deals. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I swear to God, when he stepped out last night, I heard people yelling, nice head, dick. All right, go fast. We'll talk about Brewer and his TV haircut next. You don't have to uh, <laughs> bid or give your credit card to see Hotwire's rates. Take the Hotwire travel challenge yourself. Log on, find the best price, then go to Hotwire and save with their hot fare. Fares change, so log on to Hotwire to see for yourself. It's Hotwire. Hour, 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 by Opie and Anthony. Owned by Infinity Broadcasting. The station for sports guys, Don and Mike, Opie and Anthony, and Ron and Fez is this station. 1027 WNEW, New York. And we're back with the ONA show. It is. Jim Brewer in the studio. Yeah. Hoping. He's got his TV haircut. TV is my summer haircut, man. <laughs> TV haircut. <laughs> If I could quickly touch on something West Coast Dave just sent. Sure. Yeah. It's hysterical. A little link. We, uh, we love Japan as Americans. <laughs> we love what they're doing over there. It's always pretty wacky. You ever see the reality shows over there? They almost kill each other. Japs are crazy. They're crazy. They have a video game that's a big hit right now over in Japan. It's called Bunga Bunga. <laughs> the player standing in front of this video game console that is shaped like a woman bending over. And it's got uh, uh, the rear facing you and a, a video screen with a little handheld handle device. <laughs> the object, to cram a plastic finger up a virtual woman's das deep bear. <laughs> the harder you shove, the more reaction you get from the computerized face on the screen. <laughs> so you work the Bunga, finger Bunga. and the face makes like... Makes faces. That can't be real, is it? And walking around these uh, games as uh, the mascots. One is a giant finger. 
Kabunga! The other one appears to be dressed with fecal matter. <laughs> Kabunga! <laughs> That's uh, just some of the latest things coming out of Japan these days. Kabunga! Bunga, bunga. Anthony, Kabunga. Yeah, I have an update on the controversy uh, where we have created started in a tiny little newspaper in North Westchester. Yep. <laughs> our, uh, our wow <laughs> our wow advertisements uh, taking off attention, attention, the local people buses. of Westchester County. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. Oh my God, here they come. Run for your lives. Run for your lives. Look out, Dick. Proceed to the fallout shelters. Duck and cover. Duck and cover. Good Johnny. <laughs> The uh, <laughs> the AP picked up on the story. Yeah, uh, we're just uh, you know rehashing this for people just tuning in. Um, we just did an exclusive interview with News Twelve <laughs> of North Westchester County. Opie, we didn't do an exclusive interview. We'll do one with anyone. No, I we don't. don't care. But Jazz from Westchester writes, "Hey, I remember last year News Twelve ran the same story of a wedding dress store burning down every day for about three months. Congratulations, you you guys finally made it." <laughs> <laughs> Meaning there's nothing going on at that, uh, NHD. At that station. NHD. So the, the local news stations in New York, they, they've picked up on the story. They're talking about it. Um, Channel 5, 10 o'clock news, they're doing something on it. Uh, Channel 9, sending a crew down, they're doing something on it. Whatever yeah. happened to getting high and playing with your yo-yo? I don't know. Just to spend People just time. don't want to do it anymore. You know what I mean? <laughs> to waste a little time? <laughs> waste a little time. Uh -huh. Enjoy yourself. Oh, and this just in it. Yes. <laughs> NBC Nightly News. Controversy sweeping New York as Whip Em Out Wednesday. <laughs> Tom, it's Whip Em Out Wednesday. Uh, whip Em Out Wednesday. Whip, is whip, whip. Offending, uh, well, in the ones of people. Are offended. People offended numbering in it well into the single digits. <laughs> And Westchester, though holding steadfast to not taking the billboards down, backed off in a matter of seconds. Tom Broca, NBC Nightly News. I, for one, have not seen any rust, <laughs> even though I do have a wow stick on the back of my limo, limo, limousine. Uh, 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 big Continental. <laughs> It is on the back of my big continental that takes me into work every day. Here I go. Let me see if this works. Katie Couric, show me your fun bag. <laughs> show them to me, Tom Broca, NBC Nightly News. Tom, you seem kind of out of it. Tom, you seem kind of out of it today. You all right? I'm quite woozy today. As if you notice on my reports, I'm usually falling asleep, and I can't pronounce L's. I did go to your magazine signing at Hooters last night. <laughs> I had gotten a beer fight and thrown out of Hooters <laughs> and ended up in a bed in the park of Meridian watching Spank Revision. <laughs> Tom Broca, NBC Nightly News. On a related story, blind people, bigger junk, you decide <laughs> as we have bl bl blind Matt come in and pull out his junk. <laughs> Come on, Al Walker, show us your cans. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go to Dennis. Dennis, what's going on? Yeah, I just heard the tease on News 12 Westchester. Yeah. yeah. It says local local DJ infatuated Olsen twins. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> That's all that guy heard. That's, That's whole, all he heard. That's all he heard was blah, 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 Olsen twins. <laughs> <laughs> that seems to be the... Uh, <laughs> this is really what happens. All right, man. Take care, guys. Thank you. Stupid Time Magazine. Hey, get sneaky in here. We got to talk about blind uh, Matt's junk. Blind Matt's junk. This is Brewer. definitely going to sound a little gay, and I'm I, under already I understand that. This was Are we sick. safe? Yeah, we're pretty safe here. Let, let me tell you a little bit about what happened. We had our blind boxing competition right. where we had two blind guys come here and just beat the living crap out of each other. Right. And it was funny because they would just... This guy broke his ribs. Or yeah. yeah. Four, and they, they were punch ribs. Uh, yeah. a, 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 he, he said his puffy spleen was uh, sticking Puffing out. Puffing through his ribs. <laughs> right. He was hit so hard. And a bruised kidney. But to watch He's blind people box. He's got a great box, story. Yeah. And to watch blind people box is just a treat, let me tell you. So, uh... We had him come in uh, yesterday 
for their special treat for helping us out with flying boxing. We were going to give them a lap dance, and we did. Girls from Privilege came down, five hot girls, completely naked, just going to town on these guys. So at one point, Blind Matt, who doesn't have eyes, he's got glass eyes. He pops them out. Pops them out. That's a great party twisted, trick, man. <laughs> he's he's on the couch. Really stoned, that's and, and the that's guy a next to buzz you kill. Pops the yeah. eyes out. That's a buzz kill. Yeah. That make me go into aliens and everything. I'd trip hard Dude, on that stuff. give me a shotgun through your eye socket. <laughs> All right? No, it could pass through the sinus. I did science. He's got no eyes. Guy knows how to party, though. He, he was a trooper last night at Hooters. Well, you know what happened? They're laying down on the couch, or they're sitting on the couch. The girls are all over them. They start getting, uh, they're starting to feel uh, the excitement uh, of, of the... Uh, 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 they they saw it first. That was yeah. the big deal. They well, no, no, I mean the guys themselves were starting oh, okay. to get the feeling of excitement gotcha. about okay. the whole thing. Gotcha. If you know what I mean. Gotcha, okay. And, and now the girls see, see what's going on uh, with Matt. With blind Matt, and and we just hear him now going, oh my God, look at that, he's packing. We and we've seen a lot of strippers. I've never seen a stripper get truly excited. They'll fake the excitement and all that yeah. crap. These girls were losing their minds. They were losing their mind. They had to, uh, w they had to pull it out. They had to pull it out. He's so sitting he on the couch. The blind yeah. guy. They pulled his donkey out. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Oh my gosh. So, uh, yeah, this monster falls out. I mean, we all saw it. It was right there. Do we have, um, do we have audio of exactly when it happened? And, uh, yeah, we do. All right. Wow, that is a monster. How about that? <laughs> Godzilla always funny. <laughs> so we're talking in the back office and we're saying, how, how cruel can God be? Here's a guy, he's blind. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And he's packing a monster, and he has no effing clue because he has nothing to compare it to. <laughs> he has no idea how big his junk is. The well, only we way should have him describe what is uh, what is something. Yeah, what does he think? He, of, the only way he could judge other guys' size is to grab it, oh. and he hasn't done that. So he doesn't know. He thinks he's sporting like the average, I well, guess. He thinks everyone has a monster. Everyone's sporting this, right? <laughs> everyone's sporting this one, right? Hey, guys, what about this? What do we do with this? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Is that your third leg? Yeah. <laughs> oomph, oomph, with oomph. a chick, you know, it's like I'm blind and I'm not sure if I'm inadequate here or not. And just <laughs> the, the <laughs> proverbial sound that a sack of potatoes makes when you drop it on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> this should be okay. I, I hope it's not too inadequate. I think we were just overtired from what Hooters because we were laughing our asses off in the back office. We're like, it's it's too funny how cruel this is. But when he plays with his yo-yo, what mm -hmm. I'm saying, we have visual. And we, uh, yeah, just, yeah. What does he think of? I guess he's, he's thinking never seen a chick. of what it feels like. Like, you know, the feeling of a chick. I don't know. I don't know what blind people that have never seen before fantasize about when they jay. You know? Yeah, yeah cranking it. He had the Snicker bar in his pocket right away. Like, you know, <laughs> the, like the, it, the movie theater size. Yeah, exactly. And before they even got naked, he was already... The movie size. <laughs> yeah, anyway, is that a huge one they have? Yeah. <laughs> King size. <laughs> yeah, and then the, uh, the, one of the dancers was so hot on this, she jumps on him and just starts gyrating. She like crazy. She lost it. Completely lost like a it. carnival ride. There he is. Blind Matt. What's up, guys? Hey, man. You guys are awesome. You're killing me over here. Well, you're the guy with the huge junk. <laughs> you got a monster in your pants. We just want to know, do you know that? And how would you know that? <laughs> I've only um, heard the screams. That's how I would know. <laughs> yeah, is it... Um... So women have told you, right? I've heard that, yeah. All right. But you, you, but you don't know... What other guy's size is, right? No, absolutely no. Yeah, because you'd have to grab on. <laughs> absolutely. That, that's a definite negative on that one. Yeah. But, I mean, this is just funny to hear this. I mean, I didn't I didn't realize the whole, uh, you know, being caught up in the moment. I really didn't realize the... Yeah, uh, it, it, the whole damn thing just <laughs> fell out of your pants. You guys are too much, man. <laughs> too much. You get home all right last night? Oh, yeah, dude. What a... 
What a funny, uh, we got on like a certain train and like my buddy and I both passed out. <laughs> <laughs> we missed yeah. our connection train in Babylon. <laughs> Matt was so hammered he could see. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> my eyes were bloodshot this morning. Does your dog yeah. like treat you differently when you just get hammered? Like, oh, I gotta deal with Bob. Bob yeah, really. Yeah. Drunk guy tonight. <laughs> no, I'll tell you, like his, his guide dog's all pissed. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, you idiots. It's like, oh, God. He's Come staggering. On, he's, man. He's staggering behind me. He's not keeping up. Oh, I'll be man. nice to him, but that last step into the house, I'm not going to alert him to that. <laughs> you could fall right on your face, funny I'll man. I'll tell you, though. Um, Every five years. <laughs> it, it's actually, it's a benefit because, you know, the dog has a good memory. So, like, when I used to live in the city, my first dog used to get me home, and I'd wake up in the morning like, how did I get here? Oh, your dog knows how to get I thought a good memory, he'd tell you what you did last night. <laughs> well, that too. Remember that? A chick? Oh. <laughs> the two of you have piles of crap right next to each other. <laughs> yeah. What a night, Where'd huh? Where'd that come from, man? <laughs> what a night. But, man, I had a, had a great time at Hooters, man. You guys are a blast. Oh, cool. Hold on a sec. Mary wants to say hi. Mary. Yeah. You're on with Blind Matt. Hey, I didn't hear yesterday's show, and I want to tell you guys I wanted Blind Match number now. Oh. You like large mules? I don't care what anybody says. Size definitely matters. Ah, there you go. See all you little But, but you have to be guys. woman enough to handle it, you know. That's true. Believe me. I've heard, uh, <laughs> I've heard that. Real, you ever bottom out? Uh, yes. <laughs> you bought him out. <laughs> really? It's like taking the old Chevy Nova over the whoop de doo man. Those shots ain't going to handle it. You know what I mean? Bam! Ow! That is funny you say that. that was, is, there, I've never heard that there was, a girl, there was a girl in Buffalo. I hit the back wall. You bought him out. Like, there you go. I'm like, wait a minute. You hear a little squeal from her, and then you get that heebie-jeebie feeling like, what did I just hit? <laughs> what did I just hit? Uh, How Howard's on line four. Who who who? Let's. He wants to talk to Blind Matt. Howard. Yeah, I had a question for Blind Matt. Yeah. What's yeah, up, Blind dude? Matt. Yo. Yeah, I was wondering if you I'd trade my eyesight for your junk. Who who who? Who who? No, I'm I'm happy as is. All right. Who who? <laughs> <laughs> we got a bunch of idiots that listen to us. Ah, I, I couldn't them. be happier. All right, Matt. So, thanks, guys, and we'll see you soon, man. You See you soon. Nice. Ah, How about that? I didn't even cool. realize that. Cool blind guy humor. Are you holding the phone with your junk right now, man? <laughs> Wrapped around twice. <laughs> like a python. Did you make it into work today? Yeah. Well, at, what, at what time? Uh, normal time. Oh, man. Nine o'clock. Do you have different Who's glass eyes that are bloodshot, so when you're hungover, you just <laughs> pop those in, just so everyone knows how you're feeling? No, right? no, I Wouldn't don't. that be great? You pop in, you're there. <laughs> or just occasionally you pop in a pink eye one and go, no, don't come in. I could, got, yeah. got conjunctivitis. I huh? could turn them both white. Not the pink eye. <laughs> kind of like, no, go with the big ones that look like cat's eyes. Go, no, I'm a vampire. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Kind of like the guy that has the two different toupees, and he wants everyone to think that he just got a haircut. <laughs> got a haircut. He's got the long one and the short. One and, then, and then one day he'll just come in with the short one, and you're like, hey, Bob, hey, you get a haircut? haircut? That's yeah. That's clever. And they switch back to the long uh, toupee when they go on vacation, hoping that's that, you know, well, a week went by, sure, he could have grown out that much. <laughs> that's almost as good as one of them uh, old dirty schemes or uh, yeah. angel schemes. Hey, uh, Matt, do you have one blue one and one brown one like a mongrel dog? No, but I used to, in the, you know, when I was growing up, you know, your head grows, so you have to get new eyes, you know, from time yeah. to time. So I used to have like uh, like hazel kind of like Joe Namath color kind of eyes, but now I went back back to my natural brown. <laughs> natural brown. Yeah, natural. Natural brown. Well, you know what I was born with. Right. Uh, you it know, was good though. He could fall asleep anywhere, and no one would know it. Except yeah. for the jaw hanging open and the drool on the collar. But other than that, yeah. All right. Well, thank you, Matt. Thank you, guys. Uh, I get lenses I'm that look like. Fun. I did, man. You guys suck, and we'll see you soon. I get lenses that look like the old comic book X-ray specs, so and scary. walk around looking at girls, going, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah." <laughs> you know the spirals? Remember yeah, the little X-ray specs? We see through clothes. Yeah, yeah. X-ray specs. There he goes, blind <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Bottom. A red out. eye. <laughs> a red eye. A red eye. Keep away, man. That was well, watch it, man. I got, I got the pink eye. You don't want to get near this. Yeah, it sucks. I shot from a horse. Damn <laughs> <laughs> <A> freaking whore. <laughs> <laughs> Doug from Springfield doesn't know what bottoming out is? Please. We don't even have to explain it. Yeah, I think everyone knows what bottoming out is. If you don't, Doug, 
Because <laughs> there's only one reason you don't know what it is. Can't reach. <laughs> here, here he is. <laughs> we should take a break, huh? All right. We gotta get into. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. We gotta get into Marilyn Manson. Well, don't put it that way. Well, true. <laughs> you tried to get it to somebody. <laughs> oh, we'll get into it next. You haven't heard what Marilyn Manson is accused of doing? No. He's up on. I passed him once. I actually met that dude. Yeah, we we saw him backstage up in Boston, and the guy is like, it's all business. Yeah, it's the business guy. How you doing? Uh, he knows right. the deal, but then he gets out on stage, oh. and now he's up on sexual assault charges. And just wait to hear what he did. Oh, it's gonna be great. And are you gonna tell your story today, Jim? <laughs> you are. I'm just saying. Lopey. He told me on the phone it? he would tell his story. I'm just asking. We'll try to get to it. If, uh, sure. Okay. Good. <laughs> Opie and Anthony. One is funny. One is sick. I hated my grandma. <laughs> Bitch. Precious this. Stadium Auto Mall. Stadium Auto Mall. Stadium Auto Mall. Every day the mailbox ball, crammed ball, with ball, bills, ball. bills, bills, bills. Everyone ball. wants their money. No, no, no. Fortunately, at Stadium Auto Mall, they want you to leave your money at home. Leave it at home. Don't make monthly payment till next year. Yeah. Every vehicle on Stadium Auto Mall's giant 10-acre lot can be yours today with no down payment, no security deposit, no payments till 2002. Pick any new Jeep or pick any new uh, Ford, car, truck, SUV. Drive it home. Don't even think about making a payment till next year. And while Stadium Auto Mall is more than happy to wait till 2002, they know when it comes to credit, you can't wait now. You need credit now, and they've got it. Stadium's goal to finance everyone. When other dealers say no, Stadium says yes. Yes, OP. Yes, 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 yes. At Stadium Auto Mall, all you need to drive a new car or truck is a pen. That's it. Credible Stadium Auto Mall, Route 17 North in Rutherford, New Jersey. Call them up, 201-935-2400. OP and Anthony, every afternoon, including Saturday afternoon, 1027 WNEW. <laughs> Wear glasses. And we're back with the ONA show. I can't believe Brewer didn't hear what Marilyn Manson did. Uh, let me hear this. Let me hear this. I, I, I. Classic. All right, let uh, me read it. Let me read from the newspaper. Marilyn Manson in concert interlude. He's up on charges. Sorry, Anthony. Yes. Uh, satanic shock rocker Marilyn Manson yesterday was charged with sexually assaulting a male security guard during one of his concerts. What concerts. a shocker! I'm shocked! Oh, my God! Are you kidding? He has... He, sw he goes that way? He, uh, who oh knows? Oh, my God! This is nuts! Shocking. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta hear the rest. I gotta hear the rest. Uh, I gotta hear assaulting a male crazy. security guard during one of his concerts in what prosecutors call the disgusting display of perversion. <laughs> so it's a male <laughs> security guard. <laughs> wait, a male security guard, but what'd he do? <laughs> You're gonna die. The outrageous singer, dressed in a G-string, first <laughs> approached Joshua from behind uh. while rubbing his own... <laughs> area that's right so he's rubbing his donkey right walking toward the security guard in his g-string <laughs> conjures up some image right there as the theme jaws goes on <laughs> he's trying to do his job for a top <laughs> you stand back back up <laughs> So he's uh, <laughs> he's he's uh, <laughs> Good. walking toward the security guy, rubbing his own junk. Okay, dun, 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 then he spit dun, dun, on the guy's head. Dun, 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 dun. Spit on his head. Oh, that old gag. Uh, Isn't that a good one? Spit on his head. Like he. Uh, da, 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 where am I? And then he spit on. Okay, his head. Wrapped his legs. <laughs> <laughs> wrapped his legs around the guard's body. And rubbed his. Blank area. His is uh oh he his wait he donkey? gave the guard a reach around? No 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 no. Alright. So he spit on the guy's head. Spits yeah. on his head, wrapped his legs around the guard's body, and rubbed his donkey junk yeah. 
on the guy's head oh. and neck. Oh, oh, okay. Oh. Ooh. He gives Dude. him a little prison Ooh. lube. This guy, Lily, is one gene from a monkey. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. He was humping uh, and what he the did. guy's he head. crap on the floor and throw his feces. <laughs> prison lube, it's called. Oh, yeah. man. You know, when you give him the old... Uh, so he jumped. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. All right, calm down, Marco. That's some serious... Uh, the the incident was witnessed by thousands of wild-eyed Manson fans in Michigan who cheered in delight, assuming, hey. assuming it was just another part of the bizarro musician's provocative act. Manson, a.k.a. 32-year-old Brian Warner, was charged with criminal sexual conduct and assault and battery. God bless America. Can you believe that? He spits on his head and starts rubbing his junk <laughs> in the spit on the back of his head and his neck. Get that well sign <laughs> off the bus now! No! <laughs> Where are you going, sweetheart? Going to see Marilyn Manson, Ma. Have a good time. Get that well <laughs> sign off the goddamn bus now! And stop throwing rocks at my car, you little crapper. I know you're... Yeah. <laughs> that's, what they said. that's what they probably say. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Um, the prosecutor said the July 30th assault at this uh, theater far exceeded any freedom of expression or artistic license. <laughs> no. <laughs> no S. When another man is rubbing his junk on your head and neck, <laughs> with using his own spit as lubricant, I should have auditioned. I should have auditioned Saturday Night Live like that. <laughs> yeah, Jim, you're next. Hey, Lawrence. <laughs> Get his donkey out of my head. What are you doing, that Jim? That is sick, man. How about a hot? It's pocket? a great way to get a job, though. <laughs> <laughs> we need a stock boy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Security guard. So th this guy must have, uh, he must be filing some kind of a lawsuit, I'm sure. Uh, yeah. How do you do that? That's worth at least 30 mil. And then, of course, uh, mil. Uh, according to the paper, Marilyn Manson could spend the rest of his life in jail. Yeah. I hate when they had that. I don't think in this case, but like uh, they said it 10 everything. years in jail. Yeah. I know. The Sopranos child, he may be booked away for life after years. life. Yeah, he could draw a 30-year jail sentence from this, <laughs> or just public service for 100 hours. How funny, Marilyn Manson trying to give this this guy the Roman War Helmet. The Roman War Helmet? Do you think he was trying to give him the Roman War Helmet? <laughs> That's exactly what he was doing. What a great move. Hey, it was up uh, exactly in the head and neck region. What he was doing, he was going for the helmet. <laughs> I was injured about my head and neck. It would have been. All over my neck. <laughs> He comes walking out on the stage. Dun 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 dun. dun. It's a great opening, man. War helmet. Uh, Andrew. Yeah. How you doing? Good. Hey, hey, brewer, don't laugh. That's the same thing that happened to you when you got the massage. <laughs> <laughs> don't you love how the listeners forget? I, I got mad for a quarter of a second, but damn, that was funny. <laughs> they never forget. It's great. Yeah. The massage episode. See, that's what keeps you normal. All right, man. Friends say man. That's what happened to you, massage. Did same thing. What line seven? Well, um, which line here? Uh, Over here. Okay. Yeah. Let's go to Pete. Pete, you're next on the Opie and Anthony show. What's up, boys? Hey, Hi. listen. My friend went to the concert last week to the Ozfest, and he did the exact same thing. Ooh. And my friend said it was it was definitely part of the show. Ah. He said it was the guard just stood there staring straight ahead, and he was all into it at the Ozfest over here. Oh, so it's like some kind of a bit for the... Uh, Part of the show, but like, maybe, uh, this, maybe this guard didn't like it too much. No, I was thinking what you were saying, maybe the guard is, is part of the show. Maybe he did the wrong guard. Maybe he did the wrong guard. He did the wrong guard. What's maybe. he doing? What's he doing? Like, the brewer. <laughs> yeah. Brewer. What? Later, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a, disgusting. Bad Three's Company episode where somebody is supposed to be somewhere and they don't show up. And Tonight on Three's Company, Jack is standing in as security guard for the... Marilyn Manson <laughs> gives the Roman candle to the wrong security guard. <laughs> Laugh along as Jack Tripper poses as the security guard. Yeah, what was his friend's name? Remember the 
The swinger guy? Larry. Oh, Larry. 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 That's right. Larry trying to make some extra money with Marilyn Manson. <laughs> agreed to be a security guard that Marilyn Manson would hump with his own spit. But he <laughs> could make it because he had a hot date with some real old woman that seemed to be every woman on that show that they were going out with. <laughs> Hey, hey, here we go. Join us tonight for Three's Company when Jack Tripper gets humped by Marilyn Manson. Ooh. <laughs> Come and knock on our door. door. Come and spit on my head. Larry couldn't make it. He's busy banging Mr. Furley. Look what I did to you. Laughs ensue as Jack gets raped by the entire band. Watch Pat Smear's money shot. <laughs> Kidney punches all around. And it all finishes off as Mrs. Roper gets the Roman War helmet in her moo moo. <laughs> And she finally gets what she was asking for. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, sure. There you have it. Let's go to Cleveland. Tim, what's up today? Hey, O and A, man. You guys rock. Thank Bye you. Uh, I want to ask Brewer. First of all, Brewer, man, you were hilarious last night on Conan. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, F. John Goodman, F. Uh, Spanish Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're going out to support Jay either t tonight or tomorrow night. Very and, uh, I was wondering when you're coming to Cleveland. Sometime September, October, something like that? Check uh, the websites, uh, www.jimbrewer.com. But, but no one, definitely hit no one knows how to spell Brewer. B-R-E-U-E-R. B-R-E-U-E-R. All right, F. Dave the Jew. All right, Tim, thanks. The thanks. Jew. F. Dave the Jew. Okay. <laughs> Never floats your boat there, pally. Um, Jim. But what? <laughs> You have to tell your story. <laughs> well, I felt bad for you. Well, I was listening to you the other day. You have no problem telling it? No, what do I oh, care? I, I don't care. I was listening to you the other day. I was driving my wife, but we also had Grandma in the car. Oh, oh no. no. So no, we no, all headed great. down to the Regal Beagle <laughs> where they met Marilyn Manson. <laughs> Me and Dee are howling. <laughs> As Opie's like, yeah, and I got caught playing, and, sh and she went back to sleep, and I'm howling because I've been caught many times. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Opie got caught uh, recently uh, spanking it we by rented, his girlfriend. We so. rented Rush Hour because I never saw him when it was But I theaters. couldn't call in. I couldn't call in. Yeah, and uh, Well, I'll just refresh everyone's memory because I, I, at least I have someone on my side. The Come on, every guy has. Yeah, but no one around here would admit it. So every caught. guy has. Absolutely. Not Absolutely. Not Absolutely. I have never been you caught. You are being sexually harassed from I the moment swear. you wake up in the morning by your chick. <laughs> I swear to you, I've never been caught. Brewer, this is the third time for me. Oh, third, it's been at I, least and three and it always causes big fights. She flips out. And I thought, really? and I thought she, she was mad. I thought she huh. was asleep because I looked, you know, you start with like, you start slowly, you know what I mean? And then you're like, well, I got to get some friction going. Well, what happens? So, so I, I turn around because he's on the couch. I got some friction going. <laughs> well, at first, I'm like, hey, oh, hey, look at this. <laughs> this feels nice, you know? <laughs> that old cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> and then, <laughs> so at first, you could be in the mode like, I don't want to be bothered. It's so much work, maybe. And then the second you're getting into it, it's like, why am I not doing this all the time? <laughs> why am I not quitting my job and doing this full time? So when it really started, you know, I started getting into it, I looked behind me to make sure, you know, she's still asleep. And she was asleep. A little would, you give a little peek around, would you give her the fish eye? Oh, yeah. I turned yeah. Yeah. Fish eye, basically. Exactly. with the fish eye. Oh, wait a minute. Arr. You got to understand. No, you she, was, she was two until, feet She was two yeah. feet behind. Me. You're okay. very quiet. You get the oh, quiet yeah. method. And now going. I got quiet. <laughs> just the thumb <laughs> movement. Real quiet just quiet thumb guard. movement. Just uh, maybe like the inside right here, like the wrist area. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thumb <laughs> movement, light movement, and pressure with the pinky, <laughs> ring, and middle finger. So uh, then I adjust the pillow. I'm getting all set. And I look behind me. I'm like, all right, she's still asleep. And now it's time to now get down to time. business. I guess I was shaking the whole room because she woke up. <gasps> well, you know what no happens? No joke, because we have like all these stupid things in my living room. And some of the crap is... <laughs> Well, what happens in this situation, it's sort of like going, you know, when you start drinking, you don't realize you're drinking, having a good time. So you start talking like this. Yo, I got to take a beat. You see the mess? Why would you bring in Benitez? He sucks. He sucks. 
So when you start getting into that thing, it takes over. You're getting into you the zone. You don't realize right. you're, you're doing you're right going. here. Yeah. So standing, uh, we, we, got, we got on the air the other day. And That's Chris Rock, uh, by the way, that talks about the nobody's home jerk. What does he say? <laughs> what does he you say? You get in the good nobody's home jerk. Well, you know it's home. You you can go to town. You, <laughs> you can go to town. You can do whatever you want in whatever room. You can do the roast beef. Oh, yeah. No matter. So uh nobody's home jerk. <laughs> so it turns out that nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Scream if you want to. You can play out of pin up. Is that dot? I don't care because nobody's home. It's just me and the dog. Nobody's home, Jerk. So, uh, make a That is a good <laughs> jerk! <laughs> when nobody home! The nobody's home jerk! Ow! Ow! <laughs> I've been shaking in the bed like a crackhead! <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, cause nobody's home! I've been putting pillars together, <laughs> making it look like a hand! <laughs> and I've been doing the home! Jack, I put up other pillows, make them watch. Say you're next. I put a satin pillow on a jack. I use every room in the house. I don't care. No one's home. I'm doing it in front of the fridge. On my donkey, I'm going to get in a donkey by all kind of jack. I'm doing it in front of the TV. I'm doing it in front of the fridge. I got pillows and hide it is all over the country. Nobody at home, jerk. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Joe Rogan. You ever hear that, dude? Yeah. He has, a, he has a bit where he goes, he goes, the worst part about when you're playing, when you're, when you're doing the donkey, yeah. is you know, the blood, and that, and that, and always when you finish, it's always like, what's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> you got your... <laughs> So what happened? <laughs> <laughs> nice head, dude. Uh, make a long story short, uh, I, I thought I was safe and, you know, did the thing. It turns out when we got Cindy on the air, because cause she, I, I, I thought she caught me, but we didn't really want to talk about it around the house. You That's know what, what I mean? you're it's talking like, oh. about. It's... So I figured I'd bring it up on the air where, you know, it's a little safer to discuss things openly. <laughs> And it turns out that she did open up her eyes during the whole thing, and she was scared at what she was seeing, so she made believe she was sleeping for the rest of it. So she has to sit there and make believe you're sleeping. Good for what her. to do? What to do? <laughs> Hold on, Jay wants in here. He's in Cleveland tonight. We're going to get to your story, my friend. Jay, what's up? Uh, what's up? I just heard Jim Brewer giggling. That's what's up. That's a party. <laughs> what's up, Jay? Yeah. What's up, Breaver? When are we going out together, Hammer? Soon. I'm in Cleveland. Your name on the answering machine said Jim Breaver. I swear to God, I <laughs> tore them a new a-hole. It said Jim Breaver and Jay. John Tenay coming up. Yeah. J Jay, one time, I was, st I was staying at his house in L.A. years ago. And we're hanging out. I don't. I went to sleep early. Oh Jay no! Went, do I need in Jay's house? Do I, need, do I even need to say anymore? And this is what I wake up. You know when you're in that stress. You know I'm leaving home and I'm in LA. Am I gonna be on TV? Am I gonna be a movie? Jay's like Brewer. Last time we going out, Brewer? No. No, Jay. Whatever. Faggot. You know, sit home. Be a faggot. All of a sudden, I'm passed out in a coma, and all of a sudden, I wake up to this. Thing standing directly above me <laughs> in dark. It's like four in the morning. Sergeant Bieber, what are you doing lying on my floor? <laughs> Dude, I can't even tell you. That was the most bugged out thing I've ever I bet. heard through my... Jay. Private Bieber, you, uh, what is your major malfunction, Private Bieber? <laughs> Jay, what the what the f, man? What are you doing? You just get home. What's going on? Who's Jay, soldier? You must be drop your C and grab your socks. Dreaming about a man named Jay. You too, Rock. Keith Robinson was there. You too, Rock. That's right. That's right. <laughs> get up, you and your black friend. I want every latrine clean, Breaver. Breaver. I'm gonna 
like shit. a drill sergeant will just read your name tag and kill you. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know if he was going to pop me. I don't know. No, I was just doing the guy from Full Metal Jacket. Did you go out? Oh. You go out? No, me. I was <laughs> half in a coma. I no, I was just playing PlayStation, drinking beers and drinking scotch. Dude, they I... got a good jerk on. <laughs> hey, I got to tell you guys this. And Brewer, this is good for you too, buddy. What's that? What's that? Five. I, when I say five, I mean like five people last night at one restaurant said, Listen to you on O and A all the time. When are they coming here? Uh, Cole, Cole, Cleveland, yeah, you guys some love. are blowing up. Dina Cola mentioned Jim Rome when he went on stage, and they they cheered. And he goes, "How about Opie and Anthony?" And I was out of the showroom, and I thought, I don't know. I was like, Dina Cola doesn't get laughs like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurts. <laughs> the place erupted. They're going, yeah. hey, I heard about the Philly Summit. When are they going to do it here? When are they going to do it here? They are rabid for you guys. Yeah, we're feeling it from Cleveland, man. It's this cool. This morning, I did radio. Anyone's asking me. Hey, the only thing anybody wanted to talk about was the guy's blind lap dance. I'm like, money. I wasn't there. What do you want me to tell you? He's blind. <laughs> He's got a monster in his pants, Jay. Oh, Jay. It's like a, it's like a Jay Moore career. What was the line? Oh, I'm... it's there, but you kind of really don't notice it. <laughs> Great, and people always come up to me like they're they're letting me know that like someone clowned me and like it's like inside information. Like, I don't know if you know this, but somebody said I was like, oh, that's funny. Yeah, of course, it's not the reaction they expected. Just showing the love. It's the best. Gonna... You know, I just the only reason I called is I cannot believe how huge you are in such a short amount of time. It's only been like four weeks there, I think. Dude, four weeks, more weeks. This town is ready for you to rock its A. Yeah, we'll we'll get out there, man. We're gonna. Do I mean, something. I'm talking sooner than later. Yeah, we'll plan something in the the fall then, man. And if you got extra time during the breaks, uh, Serena Williams playing Barbara Shett, uh in this, uh, and I already put like uh, two maps of Hawaii into my carpet. <laughs> Serena Williams, you know, how, like McEnroe used to put the ball in his pocket. Yeah, they just stick it under their panties up against their ass cheek. Oh, I know. They know we I'm watching. That. We love that, especially Serena, that dirty girl that needs me. <laughs> How hot would Serena be with that big ice cream scooper booty And the father abused her just enough to make the sex wild <laughs> That's the kind of girl she'd be going on you And then she'd just look you in the eye Just making sure she's doing the right thing by Papa <laughs> Oh god damn you're sick I'm sick but I haven't lied yet as Red Fox said Now Serena's a good jerk <laughs> I like it <laughs> Where are you playing this weekend? Uh, I'm not playing till September. I don't start to uh, September Do 5th. His thing. Are you still filming? Long Island. Yeah, man. Oh, awesome. Hey, Jay, a bunch of people uh, calling saying I'm going to have Jay's show tonight. Where is it at again? At the end. I don't want to plug. No plug? Oh, I'm that means you sold, you sold out. Plug it. You sold out. Come on, I where know. are you going to be? That's no, the only reason I've you want to plug. shows that are yet to sell out. I just called to let you. I'm, I'm, don't forget how this started. But I'm, I'm doing recon for you guys. But I'm asking you. Where are you playing? I'm at the improv. For the rest of the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, dude, we got to take a break. If you want to call. Geez, how just many times are you, you going to plug, Jay? Cleveland. All right, man. <laughs> hey, Private <Bob> Breaver. Hi. <laughs> oh, remember that one, Jim? Which one? Which one? Right now, we're going to go on and grab your seeds and drop your seeds and grab your socks. We're going on a 10 mile hike. <laughs> yeah, it's always great to wake bone. up to. Oh. 20 miles. Anybody else? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Take care. You suck. Thank you, you Jay. rock, man. Later. Call me. All right. There you go. Later, <laughs> Jay. We do have to take a break, and we'll get to Jim Brewer's J.O. story next. <laughs> You're not getting out of this. You're not and if Channel 9 News shows up, they're going to have to wait, my friend. Well, there's radio, there's edgy, there's psychotic, and then there's o and The Opie and Anthony Show. You guys are an undisciplined child wielding <laughs> ultimate power. Anthony Paisano, Mulberry Street in the heart of Little Italy. I got to tell you, we yeah. all ordered uh, some uh, some Italian food today from, you know, someone close by to the yeah, station. Yeah. And, you know, I got to tell you, not very happy. Yeah. But it yeah. was pretty tough to get a hold of Joey and get them to send stuff up from Little Italy. Well, you, next time we'll we'll just do that. We will call Paisano. I don't know. They, he delivered for us. I don't think he does that, though. Oh, <laughs> you got to go down there. And, and why not want to go down there? It's right there in the heart of Little Italy. All the romance of Italy. It's warm, friendly. It's a relaxed restaurant. They serve incredible, authentic Italian cuisine made from old world recipes and priced right. And the portions are huge, so you take some home with you. And they have incredible pasta lunch specials. So it's not just for dinner. You ask for Joey, the owner, and you get a glass of wine in the house. And speaking of wine, Paisano's got a great wine list. So check him out. Paisano of Mulberry Street in the heart of Little Italy, 136 Mulberry. Call him up, 965-1188. 965-1188. They're open seven days a week. Weekends till 2 a.m. That's right, Paisano of Mulberry Street. Hour, hour, hour. By 
Ethiopia and Anthony. All, all owned by Infinity Broadcasting. The station for sports guys, Don and Mike, Obi and Anthony, and Ron and Fez is this station. 1027 WNEW. New York. Hey! Friday! Hey! Friday! Hey! Friday! Hey! Friday! Hey! Hey! This hey. is the ONA Show. Hey! 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 hey. hey. Jim Brewer sitting in today. He killed on Conan O'Brien last night. Yes. Oh, yeah, that with Carolyn Ray was on before you. Yeah. And, like, Conan was... <laughs> Boy, I think Conan was a little taken with her. Well, she was showing her cannons, man. She had... Two, she she has, has huge guns. Cannons. Yeah. For there's a back to rock! Those type of cannons. <laughs> 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 Yeah, one of them, like, flew out. Oh, it was incredible. And uh, I think Conan was a little oh. taken with that. Who was That's it? disgusting. <laughs> yes, Marco finds those disgusting. Get that disgusting. sticker off the bus now. <laughs> this is an outrage. Yeah, she was packing. She had the red thing. Uh, she's cute. You know what? She's. I remember her from years of doing stand-up. Yeah. She's Conan. funny, too. She li- you know what? Oh, she's, oh. she's a little she's, pudgy. Uh, wow. Well, I got to go to this guy real fast. Uh-uh. Chris. Yeah. What's up? What's going on, Hope? You tell me. I'm waiting for it to come on. They just, like, showed when they started up the news program. Yeah. County goose when sexual ads are placed on county buses. What? This this is the News 12 uh, report they're doing in North Westchester. Oh, right. is that what it is? I'm still waiting for it. I'm still hearing about this fire they were talking about before. So what was the tease? What was the tease yet? They were saying that Westchester County goofs by playing ses- sexually explicit ads on county buses. Goofs? Yeah. Goofs. 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 Oh, oh, hoops. You guys oh, are oh, hoops. You guys are goofy. Hey, can you just record it? Because we're going to talk about something and then we'll uh, go back to you. Uh, I don't have a recorder with me. Oh. Damn you. Damn me. Uh, you. Um, are they going to do the story next, you think? I'm just waiting. You're a goof. Oh, we can record here. Yeah. Of course. Oh, look at us being. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Oh, right. hold on. All right, turn it up. Shh. You have been pulled from 40 Westchester County buses following a single complaint. Wow ads similar to this bumper sticker have been taken off the backs of the County Beeline buses. Wow stands for With and Out Wednesday, a yeah. WNW advertising campaign which urges women to expose their breaths. <laughs> now, video personalities Opie and Take Anthony from East 12 Westchester live on their program Uh-oh. today. DJ Anthony referred to the county's decision to pull the ads as censorship. We are living in a society that is oh, worse no. than it was in the McCarthy communist days. <laughs> Communism. Because if you're perceived as being a sexist or a racist or homophobic by um, doing things that you would do on a, a humorous show like this, all done with caring and love, uh, it, it's worse than it was in the, uh, the old days. Well, county officials refused to comment on their decision to pull the ads off the buses. We, of course, will have more on this story also on the News 12 Night Edition and, beginning at 10. And you should have ended with what a bunch of dicks. <laughs> no, I was going to say, you should have said, now get out of my way, dick. Dick. Well, I think they'd have cut like that ten. part out. That's, That's so funny. Like I love ten. it. You know what? You know what? I got to tell you something. That's I true. do that on purpose because I try. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, it's just like the McCarthy communist. They, they in a bought, nice way. They bought that. And I, I, Brewer, I go, you know, it made yeah. a really good point. I want to make sure I'm part of this piece tonight. So could you add uh, your mom's box for me? You know what I'm going to do? Let's, Opie, we got to have a contest. Who could get the uh, dumbest quote on these news shows? Well, I'm in the lead. <laughs> yes, Commun- yeah. This is like communism. <laughs> <laughs> it's the goddamn commies. <laughs> These seven bitches started coming in years ago, and I told you to open up your peepers, hot shot. It's the goddamn red menace is what it is. First, it was the Mexicans. <laughs> All right, guys, I got to run. Hold on, Chris. We're going to give you Jim Brewer's tickets, okay? Cool. Uh, for what show, Ben? Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt. Long Island. Yeah, when is that date? All right, hold on. 
Hold on. <laughs> like it's, I think it's, the, I think it's huh? since yeah. September. Yeah. September 5th. That's the first night. Yeah, first September 5th night. at the Vanderbilt on Long Island. Chris, you got some tickets. Stay there. We'll get your uh, info. That is hysterical. That is real. <laughs> if you're like a fan of the show, because we were goofing when we were seeing oh, all that crap to the reporter, and then they reported on their uh, newscast as, as like, real. really serious. Because I said before, I go, I have a serious statement to make. <laughs> Here's <laughs> my statement. It is worse than communism. Communism. <laughs> And they, <laughs> they're taking dopey wow things off the back of buses, and I'm equating it with the McCarthy era communist witch hunts. I'm going to start and they watching bought. TV again. It's so funny when you can. This is interactive television for us. Well, we're going to be on um, Fox 10 o'clock news. Channel you, 9's coming down here. Oh, yeah. You, this thing is exploding. Me? It's so stupid. Give me a quote. What can I use? It, oh. It's like the extinction of the dinosaur. I'll just pull things I watch on History Channel. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. The news lady was all serious. We will definitely have more on this. More on this one. This is a story we'll be watching. It's developing. Still developing story. No, it's not. You'll have the same exact story at 11 o'clock. <laughs> Love it. That's hysterical. This is an outrage. Ooh, my tennis. <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's on the back of buses. <laughs> Upsetting people. Man, that was funny. I like that. Yeah. All right, Brewer. Wow. Now let's get back to the jail. Oh, you're man. not off now. Oh, come on. Man, we've passed that. Now I told my whole story, and you were listening. To, you were listening in the car with uh, your your lovely. See you later, your lovely wife. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you write us in a week. <laughs> <laughs> we'll come back, <laughs> Grab on to the rap. <laughs> oh. By the way, someone taped the the ten o'clock news on five and nine for us, and we'll go over that on Monday. Yeah. Uh, so you heard my uh, getting caught story. Why do you have to put your glasses on for this uh, story? Because it, it's embarrassing. It me. Don't want to look people in the <laughs> eye when you're talking about being a filthy animal like that. And filthy animal to Cranking it. <laughs> you know how embarrassed you feel the second it's all over. So you're in the car with well, your wife first... and your grandma listening to this crap. Yeah, I'm listening and I want to call because I instantly started laughing. I actually <laughs> de-laughed even harder. Because <laughs> for... <laughs> I'm married eight years, man. <laughs> We've known each other a long time. You do a lot of donkey playing. <laughs> a lot. There's a lot of times when you do it. Well, uh, a couple times I almost got caught, and she'd have a talk with me. But a similar. <laughs> <laughs> like your mom. No. Now you really got to stop doing that. If you want to just come to me. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, all right. Hi, how you doing? Listen, can we do it right now? Because... You know, I want so, to, yeah. The time I got caught, uh, the one big time, it turned into a big fight because she turned, first of all, you feel like a dick <laughs> that you're caught. You feel like a dick. There's nothing more humiliating. I will take stepping in human feces and bare feet. Like, or, or you stand there naked with your donkey in your hand and you have another human being, your wife. Oh, looking God at you damn. in disbelief, like what is wrong with you? Yeah. So, I I instantly took the defense, and I went nothing. I try to play it. Like oh that. no. So I went not nothing. I'm just nothing. She's like, so there's that weird barrier of am I gonna get away with this? No. Can we just drop this? Because now, you, you, were really dressed, you really don't want to go to battle. You were here. dressed though. Like had something on? <laughs> no, what did no, you, no. How did you cover pants up? Pants were off. How did you cover up? I though? couldn't. No, I just, I, pretend, I jumped on the side of the bed. I was next to the bed. <laughs> so I leaned down like I was trying to take a nap real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I was napping. I'm napping. <laughs> This is a lamer excuse than Opie. <laughs> well, you had no excuses, Well, though. you got no excuses. You <laughs> said, well, how do you get out of this? What are you doing? Nothing. Nothing. Sleeping. So I lay down, and she's like, so there's that tense <laughs> moment. Like, no. please, you know what's going on. Just, Just drop, drop it. it. Drop it. All right? Let's make believe we didn't, <laughs> this didn't happen, okay? So what? It, you know, and there's that weird moment, and she goes... Are you playing with yourself? Oh, no. That's not... I'm really mad right now. <laughs> oh, like you're not humiliated enough. I'm really mad. I go, what, why are you mad? She goes, that really offends me. Oh, no. Oh, no. So now... You know, this is when you lose oh, it. This no. is This is when you go, well, it shouldn't offend you. Well, it does. How does it feel? I'm standing here in front of you. Do I 
do I never give it to you? And you, I mean, how <laughs> wrong is that? And you feel the need that you have to hide on me and touch and play with yourself? Oh, that's disturbing. <laughs> Let's not forget you're naked as she's yelling yeah. at you. So no, that's not happened. So then I... <laughs> on his side, Anthony. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing. And then first you take the... Uh, first I took the <laughs> argument of... Um, I, t I attacked her like this. I said... Well, I didn't want to bother you, because you said you were tired last night, because the baby got up early. What'd you say all day? You got mad on me. As soon as I woke up, you're like, I mean, not today. And I let you nap. Did I not do that? Yes, I did. And I Turn said, it around. really good. And so you said you were tired. You went downstairs. You said you were tired, so you took a nap. So I started playing myself. So all right? Is that all right with you? I'm trying to help you out, and you're making me feel like a dick. <laughs> It's so true. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yes, I do. Oh, you try, oh, to, you try to spin it. You try to spin it and get out of it. Turn it around. So, but my wife, she knows me. She kn you, Look, the only human beings ever going to know you your entire life better than you is your wife. And the, and the reason you get so pissed at her is because she's so on and right, but you don't want to <laughs> face it. So she goes, you would even think, I, you know what, I wouldn't be offended if you at least tried, but you didn't try. You just oh, decided man. you're going to go up and play with yourself. That's why didn't you from very offended by that? See? Taking that route. Yeah, well, you're there yelling at your wife now, just I'm sporting, myself, I'm... naked, and you're sporting, and, <laughs> and you're just standing there now. Like, is that pretty much takes you about five ticks down on the advantage scale, you know? Uh, you're done. You arguing argue. naked, bad. And what sucks for me is... I've got three, I have weird rooms. Oh, it no. sounds worse than it is, but there's three mirrors. Yeah. It sounds way worse than it is, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got two angles on me so I can see myself. <laughs> and then I realize this while I'm caught in the middle of this. Were you thing. able to pull covers over yourself? Look at me. I'm oh, no, hot. I quickly, once we got over the thing, I quickly put up my, you know. You but now up, she's standing there as you're putting pants on. And yeah, so look how oh, hot I God, am. God, is that horrible. <laughs> you know, what? No, I can't look at myself. I lose. I'm like, oh, oh baby, baby, look in mirror three. <laughs> this reminds me of the dude in American Psycho when he's uh, banging those two chicks, but he's looking at himself in the mirror while he's flexing, flexing his yeah. thighs. Oh. That's hilarious. Huey Lewis and the News. <laughs> <laughs> this is Susudia. <laughs> Su 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 Phil yeah. Collins. Don't just stare at it. Eat it. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> the color is bone. Bone. <laughs> With a font that I picked. <laughs> I love that movie. You gotta tell the so the last part of where where she caught you in the uh, in the which one after you did the concert and all that and you were you know a little which one what? <laughs> what? I need better language here. Hope help me out. He's like you know if you guys could see Hope right now he's just leaning his head to the right and going. <laughs> You know, when you... That was my garnish. visual for, like, you know, being high. Like, being a little under the... Oh, my God. Like you got, then you got to deal with it. Well, when, when you were downstairs, like, you said jamming, like, Judas Priest or something, <laughs> giving yourself a concert, and then decided... <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no. Exactly. 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 When I got some spare time, I, you always revert back to being 16. <laughs> yeah. Always. Yeah. Light you down, you know, Chris Rock. I'm a jugger. You gotta have a. We call it the Rob Halford jerk. Scream! <laughs> 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 the dungeons. Uh, Nothing better oh, than the no. Rob Halford jerk. <laughs> now that's a good Bruce Diggers is. <laughs> Run to the hills, kind of jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Halford, Judas Priest, Johnny Chuck, wearing leather and a blue whip. Now, when this Talking is about playing, living after midnight, kind of Jack. This is like jerking after midnight. There we go. <laughs> jerking after midnight. <laughs> jerking till the dawn. <laughs> till the morning. And I'm gone. <laughs> So you're having a um, a concert with yourself. Turkin! Turkin! <laughs> nice head, Dick. See it again! Turkin! Turkin! Wait, what does he say? I come alive! Yeah, he comes alive. That's when my turkin goes alright! <laughs> After midnight! 
can to the dome. Walk it off, dick. <laughs> <laughs> the volume settles it down when you're jerking it to Judas Priest. <laughs> you can't jerk it if the music's jerk too it. loud. Jerkin! <laughs> you're gonna get caught jerking if the music's too loud. <laughs> I put that big ball in my mouth And I start jerking like the gift And I put on it Jerking <laughs> To the door When I'm home alone 95% of the time I spend jerking Oh, here we go <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm aiming wait, 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 wait. <laughs> wait, 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 what's in it, wait? <laughs> Perfect! Wait, 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 this one's a good one. Where are you today? Thank you. I called in about Thank last you. week. Yeah. I got this girl. She wants to do sex for Sam in Philadelphia. When we get there, no, we're no, going to we'll work do that. that so. I know, but the guy oh. said it's going to be like a year away. No, it's a couple, not even two months away. Who won that? Who won that? Not it's, even two months away. No, we'll do it. Uh, I think early October we're going down. <laughs> you got to sign me up. You got to take my name and number. This girl's serious. Rich, she wants Rich, to do the two-point uh, conversion uh, everywhere we go. Rich, when <laughs> we get closer, we'll talk to you, okay? It's way too early. All right, I'll call you back. All right, right on. We'll remember you. Uh, Jack from Philly checking in. He says there's no way uh, out of it when you get caught um, no beating way. it. But there is a way to minimize the damage. Look her right in the eye while still stroking <laughs> and say, Look what you're making me do! <laughs> get down on your knees, start crying. Look what right you're now, doing! What have you brought me to? I got no place else to jack! I got, to I got no place else to jack! <laughs> Don't you make me stop doing this! Don't you! I ain't got no place else to jack! I ain't got nothing! Home run. And I believe that would be the closer! That's the officer and There's the gentleman! The man. That's the Richard Gibb jerk! Oh, God. Wow, that hurt. But yeah. Brewer, you were under the influence. You were jamming Judas Priest or something. I can't get through this story. <laughs> um, that's fine. You did it. Ah, we get the image. Oh. Just the visual of everyone coming downstairs. The music's cranking. You're high, naked. Oh, dude. Oh. I, I wasn't naked. Was this before or don't after that things, other episode? Man. Don't edit. See, don't yeah, sorry, I wasn't naked. But you have to be naked. And my to... underwear on. Oh, right, right. Now, is this before or that's... after the other episode you just talked about? Oh, this is after. Oh, man. So she must have been like, <laughs> didn't we talk about this? Well, I honestly, what I did, I, I pulled that as a front. <laughs> I said, I'm going to get downstairs writing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Live it at midnight. Right. Rock it like a rainbow in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> right, you have a little concert. I'm tearing it up in my basement. And then, you know, I wait till she falls into the story. 
keep it going, and then. All right. So where's your name? Well, you know, came down, and again. You're right. There is no thrown in jail for the night. There is no, uh, can we ask you some questions? <laughs> yeah. You're thrown on the stand immediately. Blink! What the hell? Why you just said you were just... Is there a problem? I've got to go that route. Is the there problem. problem, yeah. Then now there must be a problem. <laughs> um... God damn, that's, <laughs> that's That's it. That's, that's... It's not getting better than that today, right? There you go. Jerking. Bravo. Wow. <laughs> I well, I would laugh that hard. It's embarrassing, it man. Is a long time. But I get, I usually get madder. I'm like, well, you know, <laughs> don't walk around. <laughs> you know that gets me all. Well, can't you control it? No, I cannot. That is why I've got to run and hide. It is worse than heroin. When are you females going to realize that? It's a gene. It's a fluid in our body. You show us anything, and we immediately, it's like, where can I go? <laughs> really? Like an ape, yeah. Throw my feces. Come on. You're all lying if it's not the truth. No, it is absolutely the truth. Oh, God. <sighs> That's too good. All right. How many people going to do the Judas Priest jerk, man? <laughs> there you go. The Judas Priest jerk. <laughs> yeah. We better take a break, huh? All right. <laughs> master, master. People are saying, stop, Jim. I'm choking here. <laughs> Let me breathe. <laughs> we always have a blast nice. when we come in, Jim. Jesus Christ. No, I have a blast. Too much fun. And more on the way. <laughs> The Opie and Anthony Show. It's like listening to Corky and Karen Quinlan. Opie and Anthony. I'd rather hear my penis in a vice than listen to those two. The Opie and Anthony Show. Anthony Lifestyles Condom. <laughs> Sit on that for a while, Brewer. <laughs> Lifestyles Condoms, they found a new way to make using a condom easier. It's called Lifestyles Discs. Looks like a little butter pack you get in a diner, you just peel it back. And there they are. They're easy to open. Even in the dark, no more struggling. And the packaging protects the condom from being damaged while you're opening it. <laughs> the best part, each disc contains a lifestyle condom facing the right side up for easy use. There's always the Lifestyle's extra sensitive discs. The original disc, it's thinner than ordinary condoms for added sensation. And for her, Lifestyle's discs come in a variety of fun styles. Flavors, too. They got sensuous vanilla. Very strawberry or tropical banana. If you're uh, not blessed in the size area, check out Lifestyle's Snugger Fit condoms. Or if you're like uh, Blind Matt and you're blessed in that area, they have Lifestyle's large condoms. Check out Lifestyle's.com and uh, find out more about Lifestyle's condoms, discs, the easy, open, easy to use condom. <laughs> Opie and Anthony, every afternoon, including Saturday afternoon, 1027 WNEW. Digging the cake, Ed. Yeah. New album's pretty cool, too. Going the distance. The Opie and Anthony Show. We're having a lot of fun today. Ah, yeah. I think we have some of our best shows when we're just tired and hungover. Uh huh. Lack of sleep and oxygen. Trying to recoup from uh, last night's party at Hooters. Yeah, that was fun, man. We do want to thank everyone that came down and uh, hung out and partied with us last night at Hooters right after the show. Did like a magazine signing party. Yeah, we had a lot of magazines out, so we figured we'd have a signing party. And I said I wasn't going to sign any Time magazines. One Time magazine. One came, Time came magazine table. out of, I mean, we had a lot of magazines that we were signing last night. Only one time. FHM magazine, the latest issue with Anna Kornikova. We're in that yep. one. We're in Rolling Stone. Uh uh, other, oh, yeah, New York Magazine, uh, which is out now, which did a really good story on us and the show. So I want to thank everyone. Who, they were down there last night? They were, yeah. The guy? Uh, Ian, right? Ian? Ian's a very cool guy. Why? Yeah. No, I heard he also writes for what? Oh, oh page six yeah. or the post or something? Oh, yeah. How about that? There were rumors that there was, uh, you know, some reporting going to happen uh, <laughs> about our little party last night. People were getting thrown out. 
by the end of the night, it had gotten, we, you know, where to blame? Management of Hooters telling uh, Anthony to stop cursing because there's little kids there. <laughs> hey, he is told me that to? both of us should stop with the language. I didn't hear him. Well, I didn't even tell you because tell I wasn't going to stop tell anyway. Go time night. To, tell him to go F himself. I don't, time I don't give a this? flying F because this guy's a douche. You know how much yeah. hair we sold last night for Hooters? <laughs> Look, if you, you know, weren't there with our crew, I swear to God, there would have been ten people watching the Mets uh, lose. <laughs> no joke, right? Yes. And he's that getting all pissed off. Game, man. Look, man, if you're going to sell that much beer and, and our listeners are hanging, you're talking, what, five, six hundred people went through the doors last night easily? Yeah. When they probably would have had 20 and the guy's getting pissed off? Check your register, my Not friend. Not only that, but most of the, pe the, the people have to... that he thought he was offended wouldn't have been there in the first place. You're in a place called Hooters. Hooters if dummy. you're taking your kids to Hooters, you're, you know, what, what's your problem? Kids should be up at 10. Right. But he came up and said, uh, you know, there's some families sitting at some of those tables. Back. <laughs> Meanwhile, it's just uh, packed with ONA fans. Uh, and, and believe me, what we were saying up families. on... Families. There's a family. Where the hell are the families? <laughs> families. I didn't see any families. So people that look like the Manson family. Yeah, so Do you have a high chair? Yeah. You <laughs> need a booster seat for Junior? A booster seat. Give him a booster <laughs> seat so he could get a, a, a better look at your ass Hi, that's in the very short George. shorts. Can we see the kids' menu? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the kids' menu George. at Hooters? George. What are they called, nubs? <laughs> <laughs> the kids' menu. We call it nubs here at Hooters. <laughs> Nubby fingers. Nubs. Nubby nipples. They weren't, <laughs> they weren't pissed, were they? I can't believe they would be pissed. It's unbelievable. But... You know, we I spent guess a lot uh, of money in that joint. And hey, man, you spend that much money, you're gonna have to deal with at least one beer fight. <laughs> oh man! Now, <laughs> so we're we're getting people up, and we're like, uh, you no. know, F, and the the Fox uh, crew was there for uh, the O'Reilly factor. They were taping some stuff uh, from last night. Now to, you kicked out, you're leaving. Some people were kicked out. <laughs> we we le I left before we got kicked out, and. It was pretty much over by that point because the management was just fed up. The up, upper portion where we were doing the signing, the floor completely covered with beer. <laughs> like about a half an inch of beer over the entire Jim, floor. Jim, at one point people were jo uh, just buying pitchers of beer so they could pour it over people's heads. <laughs> and it wasn't know, even like, oh, well, I'm kind of drunk and I have a little beer left. No, they were running to the bar to get full pitchers. You were and bringing out the tribal in everyone. Oh, man. <laughs> who's directly responsible for the beer fight? Stinky, please, who? Directly responsible for Stinky starting the beer fight. What'd you do, um, Stink? People from Fox. People from Fox. Who in particular? <laughs> Who was it? <clears throat> um, this person has called me and asked me not to out them. All right, so she but people, started the beer fight. Yes. yes. And that was right after she gave Stinky tongue. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Look, I don't know what was happening there. Oh, All man. I know is, at some point of the night, I stand up. She grabs a pint glass of beer and goes to pour it on me. I go, no, no, no. And Stinky and Ben are around, so they're grabbing the beer away from her. But there's so much beer laying around that she just kept picking them up until everyone else's hands were full. So they couldn't grab any more beer from her. She throws it right at my crotch. So now I'm I'm standing there with my crotch soaked. So now I'm just like, all right, you want to play? We'll play. I grabbed a pitcher. There was a full pitcher of beer and dumped it right over our head. And then I, I follow up with uh, two pint glasses of Guinness at each boob. I just flung it at her. Then beer is flying everywhere. Bam, right. bam, bam, bam. <laughs> Let the games begin. Oh, it was. Well, be because all of us that were stealing the beers out of her hand, as she's trying to dump them on yeah. Anthony, now we've got all beers on our hands, so we just, like, followed Anthony's lead. It's just like, all right. Everyone <laughs> doused her. She was soaked head to toe with uh, with beer. And at that point, the management uh, God, started you know, getting pissed off. Another place off. we're not going to be able to go back to. This That's sucks. all right. The city's full of them. Jim, what's <laughs> up? Hey, how you doing? Hey. This is uh, Shed. Remember I was talking to you? Yeah. You had a big guy with a sister anyway, you were telling me about? Yeah, we remember uh, you. All right. Before I got up to you guys, one of the waitresses come up to me and goes, Come on, move it, move it, move it. I said, Where the hell do you want us to move? We're online. After I was talking to you, I went to get OD's autograph. Yeah. The guy with the blue shirt letting people in by you goes, Come on, you got to leave. So I thought it was because I was in there too long talking to you. He goes, No, you got to leave the building. Why? Said, what the hell did I do? The building. He says, You have to leave. What, did he, just, what reason did he give? He said, finally, he said, I, I, you grabbed one of the girls. Oh, I said, what boy. girl? You know, more people got thrown out last well, night at the end of the night. 
Than, so I went uh, over by way. I, you know, I met some friends there. You know, I, people like you know, there by myself. So I met some people. So I said, "Well, I'm going to say goodbye to my new friends." He goes, "No, you're not." I said, "What are you going to do? Throw me out again? I'm leaving now." <laughs> so I went over to say goodbye, and I tried talking to the owner, the guy with the black shirt. And he says, "I got to listen to my girl." So she says, "You grabbed her, so right. you're out." All right, there well, you go. So I, I, it was only about eight thirty, right after I spoke oh my guys. God. <laughs> yeah, a, lot, a lot happened. Eight thirty. A got, lot happened after 8.30. We do have to say a couple things. In general, everyone was well-behaved. It got crazy at the end. Cause, yeah. Because, you know, the beer crazy fight at the end. Plus Yeah, crazy. the beer fight. People that work for Fox. <laughs> right. The beer fights, you know, got a little crazy. But I don't want it, people to think it was completely out of control all night. Secondly, the waitresses were absolutely awesome at Hooters last night. Oh, yeah. Know. The waitresses rock, man. They completely Hell, yeah. rocked. Mm. I Boy, I wonder if O'Reilly would have liked using some of that footage. That would have been great if the, we would have had some of that on tape. Uh, Angel. Yo! Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, Ang Angry class. Angel. Did you angry. have fun, Angry Angel? Oh, man, you crackers make party good, man. What happened now? The manager was pissed? Oh, man. Remember when, uh, you, you, you ran, and, cause she was looking for you. I think she was the producer. She was, like, so pissed. I'm over here laughing. I bump into somebody. I turn around. This guy looked at me like he wanted to kill me. Oh, yeah? He's like, just get the F out now. Yeah, see, they were just throwing people out. Oh. And, and one I got to agree with, though, is the retarded Laverne and Shirley got thrown out. And I applaud yes. uh, Hooters oh, management for tossing them out on their ass. Thanks a lot, Angel. Yeah, later. All right, Angel. Yes, Ben? Oh, oops, kind enough to, to <laughs> tell... Uh, we're tired of Laverne and Shirley are in our area, so we throw them out. But then they complain, and Oprah's like, yeah, you know, it's not that big a deal. Let them out. But you're behind the table. I got slobber and spit all over my face from marrying. They say I'm going to fill it next week. I'm going to let me do the work. I'm going to listen to the station. So next time you do it, we'll let them sit next to you. They cracked me up, man. They're annoying as hell. Yeah, I'm going to <laughs> She goes, where, 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 where are you going on vacation? I go, uh, Florida. Oh, my God, me and my husband are going to fly, too. Uh, when are you going? And I'm just like, oh, please, God, no. Not around the same time. Please, God, no. What well, hotel? It's great. What hotel? We'll, we'll hook up for a double date. <laughs> the double date I want is if it includes me throwing you off a boat in shark-infested waters. With uh, raw meat dangling from your side. Yeah, because they wouldn't need her plane. They'd hack her up like a hairball. <laughs> 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 that little thing the cats do before they. <laughs> Wait, here's here's the sound. Here's the sound. He's got. Here's the sound. He's got. <laughs> <laughs> and then they trot away like nothing. They leave this pseudo piece of crap. <laughs> that hairball. What is it? Is it hairball? Is it crap? Mouth crap. And I crapped in the kitty litter. Better pick it up before she comes and home. And they go into that mode where they're going. <laughs> At first, and you're like, oh, my God, it's like the like old game hot potato. Do you pick him up? Do you throw him? He's on the couch, for God's sake. Live what are you going to do? Live grenade. You don't know? Throw your body over him. Save the family. You don't know when it's going to go off. You get you pick him the up. new covers. Oh, no. Yeah, when they're doing it in the, on the bed, they hop up on the bed. You'll fling him into a wall. I'll kick him. Get off the sheets. Get off the sheets. No. Goes off in midair like an airbag. <laughs> Took out the whole family. Hey, Chris, what's up? OP, what's up with Chris, man? <laughs> well, I was at the Hooters event last night. Yeah. Let me tell you about the debacle. So I'm in there for like five minutes. In walks blind Matt with his dog. He's hanging out. And he's got a bottle of scotch. And he's like, get me a, a glass of ice. We're like, all right, get you a glass of ice. He walks over, bro. We're like, let me get a glass of ice. The waitress is like, what? Hey, 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 hey. But hey, so we get blind man a glass of ice. He's drinking out of the out of the uh the scotch bottle like a douche. Anyway, blind man anyway you rock, dude. Me and James. Uh rock. Oh my dude. god. Is there a point? Opie, Opie I'm retarded. Anyway. Thanks, man. <laughs> Great. Buddy. Go ahead. Uh, okay, terrific. When you're when you're telling these little stories, here's a good idea. Have a point. It makes it so much more interesting for the listener. And if there okay, was a terrific. If there was a, vin a visual just now, yeah. when you take your hands and you make it look like binoculars over your eyes. <laughs> I know there's a point somewhere. Look to the left, Bob. Right, yeah. Do you see anything? Send a flare. <laughs> 
I mean, I see something to write. No, that's just a groundhog. <laughs> we, um, we saw a point at some uh, point, um, but then five minutes ago it fell off the radar screen. We have not seen the point since. Get my new binoculars, please. <laughs> Get the telescope. Hey, Doug, tell us. What's, up, What's up, Doug? The party sounds like it was like a high school party last night. The first time your parents go away for the weekend. Exactly. Oh, it was ridiculous. Exactly. He deteriorates about 1130, just pouring beer, wrecking the house. Get off and, the chair, dick. And you guys hung me out before. I didn't tell the screener what does bottoming out mean. I didn't know what you guys were talking about. I've had phone calls for the past hour. I'm humiliated. Oh, because we were talking about botting, botting. That's cold in Jersey, now. hitting the wall. Hitting we the wall. That, hitting the back wall. Yeah. Yeah. I had some chick call me and laugh and cancel a date tonight, too. Thanks. <laughs> Later, guys. All right, man. <laughs> Let's go to Chris. Chris, what's up? Yo, guys, I just want to thank you for getting beer all over my leg during that beer fight. Oh, you were in the, uh, you were the part of the collateral damage? Yeah, we were sitting there. I was, like, at that first table. Yeah, up on that upper table, right next to, on the uh, upper level, right next to those stairs. Didn't you see? I wanted no part of it, and then once I got uh, drenched, I decided. Yeah, to... once you got some on you, all you'd sort of doing is grabbing stuff and pouring it on the chick. Yeah, I was throwing beer at her. The funniest part was when she was going after Rick, though, and he tore ass right out of the upper area. <laughs> he just went flying across there. Yeah, Yo, Opie, my uh, my friend didn't mean to. Uh, Hit on Sandy like that. Oh, I, don't, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 listen, I, I, if Ope doesn't turn out, you know, my friend Larry, I got a tire shop. If you ever, you know, my my I'm girl, saying. my girl was like, uh, man, she really wanted to like fill up that one girl. Bad. Whoa, 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 whoa! Are you talking about Sandy right now? Yeah. Oh yeah, she wanted to feel up which one, the one with the big. Uh... Yeah, when, what what uh, picture, Ben? If you go to opianthony dot com, Sandy did. Yeah, because this girl got a boob job. Oh, so she just wanted to touch him. Yeah, she was really... Are oh, you making it sound like she wanted, you know... Well, who knows? Well, keep going. I'll tell you which one. Nope. I'm going to keep the going, uh, Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now. Uh, that one right there. Uh, photo 31. I, nope. Well, that's her, too. That one, yeah. Which which picture? I think she spells her name Cindy with which an Which number? 31. Picture 31. Let me see. Whoa. Those are pretty Those are big fake? guns. Those are, uh, real nice boob job. And, uh, yeah, Fake. Sam wanted to check him out. Wow. We yeah. Do. Oh, yeah, we delivered keggers. Nikki was there, too. <laughs> Danielle. Hey, what's up? What up? Hey. Last night was an awesome time. You had a good time last night? I was one of, I was one of the girls who wowed with the other girl. Yeah. I dropped nice. the beer all over you. Oh, sorry. That's nice. Cool. See, nice. All right. Well, all right. Th thank you, Danielle. All right. Last night was great. Thanks, guys. Cool. All right, bye. Bye. Hey, people had fun. Teddy! Hey, jackass. Hey. I was one of the family members there. You know, uh, you have a good show, but you guys were out of line in front of the children. Say all you want, defend all you want. It was a public establishment. What's the matter with you? <laughs> shut, shut up. up. Shut up, Teddy. You stupid son of a bitch. I should swap <laughs> my beef jerky around your freaking throat. <laughs> my kids were there at Hooters. You're lying, yeah, My kids Teddy. were there. My son was slopping his wiener on the table and you were cursing. <laughs> You're lying, Teddy. I got you cursing. Oh. All right, jackass. Thank you. Very funny. Son of a bitch, I should come down there and get my ass cheeks and sh uh, right. I think he uh, was done with his joking. Stephanie. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hi, How Hi are Stephanie. You? How are you? I think he's girl. I'd just like to clarify something that really uh, that hasn't been brought up, and it'll be a very short point. Yeah. Um, I don't think that everybody knows what was happening between Stinky and I before the spear brawl took place. Which was, we didn't uh, even name names. We didn't even say anything about who was who. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were well, keeping it. Uh, we were keeping yeah, it on the keeping DL. Up down low. Thanks. Um, I was being assaulted by Stinky verbally, you, might I add, as well as Oh my God! You were lying. so lying. Really? We were sitting behind the table where you guys were, yeah. all ways to being like, let's sign can autographs, I, and people were coming right. up. All yeah. of a sudden, she oh. just pours beer on me. That's it. Honestly, oh gentlemen, do, do I strike the type of woman that would do something like that randomly? I know you poured beer on me randomly. <laughs> that's for sure. Because you challenged me. You said, you know, like, ha, ha, ha. Like, no, actually, I was walking away from the table, and you had a beer, and you decided for some reason to throw the beer at me. And I was going, no, 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 I, I don't want to get into a beer fight. Everyone knows I hate sticky. I don't want to be involved in things like that. And then um, you finally got one in your hand and threw it on me. 
That's because you challenged me first. No, I was, I, no, I was a victim. Stephanie, of all of this. I You've swear to you. Challenged? Now wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I'd be the first one to jump at your defense. And I don't know what was happening with anyone else, but I know in my circumstance, I was leaving the table to walk downstairs, and you threw a beer on me, and that's all that happened between me and you. There was nothing else. I was, I was being I, what I thought very nice. You goaded everything. me. You goaded me. I challenge you to <laughs> lift my donkey. Stephanie, I swear to God, I was not goading you into anything with the beer. You so did, let me, can I just do a quick recap? How uh, old are you? Say, okay, go ahead. Is by the did end he egg you on, too? <laughs> what happened? Now, let Stephanie give her side here. What happened? Because I Thank know... You. Stinky was making some inappropriate comments to okay. me. Like what? First of all... Well, first of all, a Vic was trying to bribe me to French kiss him for oh, my birth. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You're on I didn't no have to bribe course. you. You did it on your own accord, honey. Oh, Twice. my <laughs> God. I mean, come on, really? You were, you were cleaning his teeth with your tongue. <laughs> wow. It was oh. like dental floss. Oh, Hold on. Let her, let, her, let her give her Let her give her point, oh, Stephanie. Oh, oh, oh. Does anyone believe that, though? Does well, anyone believe that? Let her, whoa, I don't know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look, I don't know I what drinks are on the house. That I randomly on just the came house. on to think you. Did Stephanie, I, do that? I don't know what was happening. Like I said, I, I wasn't listening to that. I just know that now you, you're saying that I was goading you into something, and I absolutely was not. When I was being, let me just refresh your memory. When I was being sprayed by Stinky with his, you know, the beer that he shook up. That was me, but I apologize. It wasn't beer. <laughs> oh, Jim. Oh. <laughs> Let's just leave it at you. That we all had a hold really on, good hold time. Hold on. What happened? No, because I was the victim. Victim. Because, oh. And then, Anthony, you made fun of me or something. You were like, ha, ha, ha. Like, you I, can't get you know him. Something? I, said, I can't get him. And everyone then... that knows me, everyone that knows me knows I don't get involved in things like beer fights. You know, and, I... And, and then when, when I was saying, no, Stephanie, don't throw the beer at me. Do not throw the beer at me. And And... Uh, every beer you picked up, one of the guys would grab it out of your hand so you couldn't throw it on me until their hands were full, and then they couldn't grab the last beer you picked up, and that was the one you threw on me. But the whole time I'm going, Stephanie, no, do not throw the beer on me. So that when you throw it at me, that's when I put the pitcher over your head. Okay, so let me, so is this what you're saying then, that you and seven men uh, couldn't, like, refrain from having me throw one beer on your lap? Y no. You know something? No. Yeah, yeah, the guys that were standing there could not keep you from throwing a beer on me. Absolutely. I was okay. trying to get uh, down the stairs. I was leaving. Oh, okay, so six pussies on the Open Anthony Show couldn't stop... Me picking up one little beer and throwing it on your lap. They, what? they would have cracked you in the face, what? maybe, but I didn't think they Why were holding people back. people so afraid to say they, fl you know, they went out, they, they worked yeah. hard, they got all banged up. I thought we were night. having a good time. I, think I came thought home, it was pretty they, fun. They do some crazy things. It was a party, yeah. man. It was a party. Uh, and then all of a sudden, they got, that was not me. <laughs> there, there were a lot of people so, so, so I'll be honest, I, I don't, I don't, I, Stephanie, I don't think your alcoholism is a problem. I think it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. It's I all right. Think, no, I just feel like I'm not being represented properly. No one is taking into account that merely I was defending myself with a small little Norton. spritzer on Stinky's lap just to try to get him to cool down a little bit. And, you, you know. A whole then, beer down my shirt and into my crotch. And then you threw a, a, beer, a pint glass of beer at my crotch. And that's when the pitcher went over your head, and oh then beers God. were flying and everywhere. Beers were flying everywhere. That right. Is the, that is the truth. When the last time you know, had fun like that? Was she laughing at the time? Oh, yeah, dude. She was She was laughing hysterical. She's laughing. Where's Opie? I'm going to hug him. I'm, I'm soaking wet. There you go. There were there were beer fights. There you go. There were. This wasn't the only beer fight. There were beer fights everywhere. I don't know where it all began, but What's it was just a mess. the last time you did that? All I have to say is that by the end of the evening, yeah. I could literally wring my shirt out. Out with beer, someone unsnapped my bra. Steph, it was it was a pleasure being hugged by you when you were filled with beer. I enjoyed. Yeah, it. we all got the big beer hug. It was nice. I would just like a little bit of a recognition that I was a little bit of a victim when all of you jumped on me and were pouring no, beer. There were no, there was no victim there. Listen, Betty Ford, you really did <laughs> yeah. instigate a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. You know, we have a new nickname though for uh, Stinky. Was that Sodomizer? Sodomizer. Sodomizer? What the hell was Stinky Whoa. doing? He's she very nuts. inappropriate. You know something? <laughs> Let me very tell you, Stephanie, you have selective memory. I got to tell you, you have selective memory. Because no. from where I was sitting, uh, it, that absolutely wasn't the way things were going down. You were oh. you were definitely being fun and playful with your beer throwing, and you were starting the beer throwing. 
the injustice. Yes, I did start it. Oh! Yeah, and then when you start it, uh, no, 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 no. beer is going to be a question, Gerard. If you're the only one, if you're the only one, if you're the only one that starts throwing beer at people, you got to assume other people are going to throw beer back at you. But I was being verbally assaulted. I didn't see oh, any of that. We didn't. No one knew, saw that. And I never well, saw you. You. I never saw you once all night looking upset or anything about what was going on. Especially, it looked like everyone was having fun. Especially as shown in picture 53 on opianthony.com from last night. You can oh, see no, her holding no. Stinky in her lap. Let me look at picture Oh, you guys look like you're just three. getting along. That's all. You're smiling. Stinky is in your lap. Looks like victimizing. All mm -hmm. right. He was in the chair and he was saying inappropriate things. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. him. Steph, we get, the, <laughs> we get the point. Just acknowledge that he was inappropriate and I was defending myself. I right? know. Say one thing I said that was inappropriate. Stinky's not acknowledging that. Can no, I, I won't. Can I get in on this because I totally get what's going on here. Who's this? It's Opie. Oh, hi. You got you. You're you're. Can you defend me a little bit? No, I feel listen. Like... You got you got some power. You're you're oh. you got some uh, prestige. You're 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 a big time producer. No, no, but, shh, no. No, but listen. This is what's going on. I I I totally get it. And you don't want to be portrayed as you know you know being in this wild scene. But you know what, people. It, People that have professional lives have fun as well. Yeah, no, I right. have no problem with I have no problem with that. The it's only okay thing that you were in the middle of a beer fight. Yeah, a lot maybe of she has a boyfriend. There doesn't have to be a victim and a a perp. There it was yeah. it was a bunch of victim. people are you, having. Are you a thinking beer like fight. people? I am a victim. Are you thinking people at Fox are going to look down on you because no, you're no. in one beer fight at Hooters with a with a you know a bunch of people? Oh my God! <laughs> the only thing I'd like acknowledge is that the sodomizer instigated the beer throwing. I will oh. admit. Why are you oh. calling him the sodomizer? <sighs> Why, where did, where did that come from, Stephanie? It was in all my... And you know, Rick was holding ransom my pocketbook if I didn't French kiss... Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you God. know what? That's the first... She is that, I believe. That's the first thing I do believe. I do believe that. Rick, 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 Stephanie, I am completely on your side on this one. Oh, my God. I believe Rick would do that. You guys are I believe Rick would do that. I would never do that. Everything else was questionable, but Steph... I was standing next to you. I was standing next to you, Ope, trying to get you to turn around to watch her tongue kiss stinky. What's that, Rick? This is, this is legal, isn't it? This is, this is legal, isn't it? This is, this is legal, Rick, isn't you, it? you like to have fun. That is definitely something you would try to do. Admit hey, that, Rick. Rick. How are you? Admit that. No, I, I would not hold her purse hostage. Yes, you did. I did not. I didn't even know you had a purse. Oh, my God. Oh, and then the sodomizer was walking around with my purse over his shoulder like a little faggot. Ooh. Oh, look at the language. Oh, hey. Hey, don't say that. that. It's for a hostile work environment. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, listen, why do you call him the sodomizer? That's a pretty uh that's a pretty yeah. big thing to be calling somebody. Faggot sodomizer. <laughs> sodomizer. You're a faggot ass sodomizer. Wouldn't somebody have to commit sodomy to be the sodomizer? Well, wait, but can I go back to just What one type of event? sodomy was done? Well, um, you know, it's really not appropriate for me to discuss this on the air. Stinky, but what did you do? I did nothing at all. I was trying to stop her from oh a rampage God. in the office. Stinky, so you started yelling sodomizer. You sodomizer. you end you ended up in the office after this. Uh, she had no, to get no. a shirt and everything. Okay, so I'm, I, so we no, no, no. Upstairs. Can I tell right. you who the only nice person oh. was to me? Who? Earl. Earl. You said person. Stephanie, I wasn't I wasn't being nice. Leave her alone. Oh, no, Anthony, you're nice. You're not really involved in this. When I, I thought, think of the people that were involved, it's the Ricks. It's that weird guy with the little mustache that was trying to tell me I was sexy. And then he's oh, like, dirty. Oh, dirty. Oh, dirty. All right, again, uh, Stephanie, guy. I agree with no, you on the old dirty thing. Yeah. No, yo, 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 you okay? That's my word. Be. And it was someone. You. Someone had a really quick hand, and they like shoved their hand up my shirt, and all of a sudden, I didn't have a bra on anymore. Hmm. It's not right. Who I thought that? you dropped something there. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that? <laughs> all right, listen. Can we uh, let move on from this? I'd, li I'd like to bury it, yeah, but I just want to make sure that that everyone knows that you know I wasn't just a random beer thrower; that I was a victim. Right. No, I, I see you as being the random beer thrower She's, on at least me. She feels like she had a reason to throw beer. Okay, good. Thank you, and we right. and that I was harassed by your staff. 
Mm. Will this be on the O'Reilly Factor? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you Why don't you make a new special? For Members Fox? of our own staff were assaulted, <laughs> and I can see it now. Sodomized. I can see it now. We're sodomized. <laughs> you know, harassed. You, no, got, no, no. you guys at Fox put your cameras away way too soon. Can yeah. You they, yeah. <laughs> can you imagine if they got the beer fight? Wait, wait. But another point to note. Uh, this is a just... typical night with the Opie and Anthony <laughs> girl. This is in no. one of their own homes. <laughs> but there is a bounty. What happened, said, Stephanie? This had nothing to do with Fox. Fox was gone when this happened. Yeah. Oh, I know. All right. So I don't know why you're relating the two together because Fox was clearly had nothing to do with this. No, event. that's what we're saying. We're saying that it would be imagine if you got, yeah. Otherwise, you know. I'm sure they'd be pressing charges. Oh. <laughs> oh, on what? For sodomy. Oh you know, I would love to know. When you throw a word around like sodomy, that's a pretty stiff charge. Yeah, charge no pun court. intended. And uh, I, I'd court. like to know where that's coming from. You know, Stinky, do you have any clue why she's calling you that? Because Stinky, Stinky, be honest now. Be honest, man. She, was, been. she was going like berserk in the office, like leaving notes for people, going uh -huh. on people's computer, and I was like, just Memos, stop, memos. Stop. I left a memo. So I was trying to get her away from the computers. She just starts yelling, sodomizer, sodomizer. <laughs> like, really? Yeah. Really? Wow, oh, I got this clear. Let Stephanie, you, what did he do that would uh, merit think, being called sodomized? You know, Stinky tried to lure me up to the office. <laughs> I think he thought he was going to get some or something. I don't know. But he Stinky thought he was getting some. I didn't try to make a pass to you once. No. You, you stuck your tongue in my mouth. What are you talking about? Yeah, you did. Now, that I saw. He did do that. That was before. <laughs> Anytime I needed any sort of protection, there was some sort of bribe involved. So I'm, I'm going to wrap it up now, but all I have to say... No, Rick, you got to stop. She's, I don't know where the sodomizer comes from. Words, this this is a bribe. I don't know where the sodomizer all right. comes from. Though. Can we move on? Yeah, Chick gets all on. banged up. Next thing you know, bribing, sodomizing, harassment. <laughs> When's the peace airing? Uh, all I have to... This, this is a non-Fox event. <laughs> all right, we understand I don't, that. We shouldn't be talking about business because this has nothing to do with business. This is yeah, no okay, flex Tawana. on the company. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I want to make sure that all the lawyers here are aware of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you know something? <laughs> You'd be real hard-pressed to get anything going, Stephanie. <laughs> yeah. But I Anthony, swear to you. Well, yeah, Anthony, yeah. I'd really like to have like a, a rematch, but this time I think that you should be a man and you shouldn't have all your guys come on and, and attack me. It, what, you know something? If Ooh. it was, uh, if we had agreed to have some kind of beer fight, sure, mano y mano. <laughs> well, but you know something? I was leaving the bar. I wanted to go to my goddamn room and get to sleep, and you throw a beer on me. It wasn't like I agreed to some kind of beer fight, Stephanie. Okay, well, let, let's set something up because I really feel like you took unfair advantage of your staff suck upness. Ooh. And oh, they all soaked me. A, lo a little innocent woman standing Ooh. in the corner. Poor innocent woman. <laughs> shivering, right. shivering as pictures. A beer are poured on me. He did look very sexy, though, by the way. Steph, sleep off the hangover and call us when you're in a better state of mind because you're delusional right now. Okay, but I want to rematch. All right, Steph. Okay. Thank Bye, guys. You. Thank you. There she goes. Whew. Holy you Jesus. Palomino. Good Lord. Can anyone have a party anymore? No. It was a party. Without waking up the night, you get all banged up. You know something? If there was even an inkling that something was going on that, that uh, she was uh, upset about or that she was being uh, harassed or anything, I'd be the first one. And God damn it, I would That's be annoying, the first man. one to That's say really something. That's really annoying. Because I like just going out and having a good time like this. I don't want to sound like we're ha we have to defend ourselves against something that didn't happen. Yeah. And I swear to God, when, when that beer fight started, I was leaving. I wanted no part of a goddamn beer fight. Fight. And, and she threw a beer on me. Yeah, she's a girl. That's fine. But you know something? When she throws a beer on Stinky and then throws one on me and she's flinging beer around, she's going to get all of us throwing beer back at her. It's a fun event. It is. And I don't even care. It was fun. I was laughing. I'm like, God damn, we got a lot of beer on us. Chicks but are now never when wrong. she's trying to cop this, I'm like, Ugh. Chicks are never wrong. Please. That's happens. You get banged up. Show their boogies. When you go to a pate. Can we move on? Just enjoy I'm exhausted. It. We'll hit the FU line. Our own staff was brought into this <laughs> web of horror and debauchery. And debauchery. Here on the O'Reilly Factor, we will show you what happened that night. <laughs> no, no, let's just move on. Hey, let's go to the FU line. She's really sick. Hey, thanks for calling, and here's the Opie and Anthony FU line. Hi, this is Jen. I want to send a big, giant FU out to my pinky ring wearing... Bad campaign having moron of a boss. First of all, I don't know who you think you're trying to fool. 
with that fake hair so many doors because, oh, it looks so much like real hair. Second, you're so stupid that you take your fake teeth out at night, put them on your nightstand, and your dog eats them. Now, all I have to do is look at your gums all day long. Unbelievable. So, for not retiring soon enough and for making my, my life miserable, a big F you blew it out to my boss. Next message. Yeah, this is Steve from Staten Island. Like a son of special you to all the girls who don't wow on Wednesdays. Come on, girls, whip them out. Next message. Yeah, I'd like to leave a big F you out to all the tours in Manhattan and stand in front of my goddamn truck when I'm trying to make it through a goddamn light so they could take a picture of all the pretty lights in goddamn Times Square. F you. Go back to your own freaking countries. End of message. Hey, this is Billy Idol, and I'm wild, and I'm crazy, and I'm listening to Opie and Anthony. Anthony, Rat Race. Yes, Paramount Pictures and Fireworks Pictures presents Rat Race in theaters today. This movie takes place in uh, Las Vegas, where a rich tycoon and a bunch of his rich friends pit six unsuspecting teams against each other to race for millions of dollars hidden somewhere across America. It's the gambling experience of a lifetime. These six teams will stop at nothing to win, lie, steal, cheat, and play dirty tricks. Sounds like Stinky. <laughs> the tongue. The tongue. Everything in this mad dash for cash. There are some uh, really huge stars in this movie: Rowan Atkinson, John Cleese, Whippy Goldberg, Cuba Gooding Jr., uh, the little midget Seth Green, John Lovitz, Breaking Meyer, Kathy Ingram, Amy Stewart. Directed by Jerry Zucker of Airplane and Naked Gun fame, it's rated a PG-13 and is predicted to be. The Comedy of the Summer opening. Wow, there's some tough competition. The Comedy of the Summer. Rat Race opening today in theaters everywhere. Opie and Anthony. Every afternoon, including Saturday afternoon. 1027 WNEW. This is the Opie and Anthony Show. Jim Brewer in the studio. Norton stopped by. We're having fun. Oh, Looks like yeah. D.C. is really, really pissed off right now. I'm going down there. Let's go to Washington. Washington. Brian. Yeah, what's up, man? You tell us. And they cut you guys off for the pregame show. Oh. How the much pre does that? Game, like anyone gives a crap. Nice oh, enough of this pregame football crap. Stinks. Last week we lost two hours in Boston. And it oh. isn't even to the game itself. It's to preseason pregame. Preseason pregame. Does it get any more boring than that? Who cares? The only pregame that would be great would be the Vikings just to watch them all reacting. Because I'm serious. Oh. <laughs> you know, there's a dead guy on the field. They all have to go out there and win one for him. I and they get pounded 21 3. <laughs> hey, Jim Breaver. <laughs> Jim Breaver in the hey, studio. Hey, Jim Breaver, man. I was watching you last night on Comedy Central. Oh, okay, cool. What? <laughs> <laughs> was it funny? What man? skit was he doing? <laughs> no, he was, uh, they had Half Baked on last oh, night. Oh, Half Baked. Okay. Oh, okay. there you go. Excellent. Right on. You will live forever on, on Comedy Making Central. In the millennium. All right, Brian, sorry about that. Hey, can I sit on hold till 7? <laughs> no, man. We're going to make you suffer. Oh, damn. All right, <laughs> thank God. All right, cool. Where's he from? Where was that guy from? Washington, D.C. Yeah, I'll be there. Look out. Well, now they can't Look hear. Out. We like our football around here, but we could care Come less on. about pregame, preseason football. Pre yeah, it's gay. It's not gay. Hey, all the other cities. Aren't people in Washington a bunch of tools? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'm kidding. <laughs> let's let's all make fun of Washington. They just traded for Corey Stringer. <laughs> oh, God, <laughs> they're awful. Man. Awful, awful, awful. Can what I? Yeah? No, I just wanted to tell a real quick... Uh, you know I'm not big on stories, but I had something happen today. It just like, you ever have something proved just how worthless you are? <laughs> I'm doing a film, and I'm shooting in Jersey City, and I'm coming through the Holland Tunnel. And I am... I, I have my finger in my nose. And bumper, I mean, awful. Dig again? You dig Like I was trying to shovel out of an avalanche. But I mean, <laughs> yeah. Disgusting. I look over, I hear a horn beep. There's ten people in a van that I'm doing the movie with staring <laughs> oh, at me. Oh, man. I go about three cars up. I'm back in my nose because yeah. I had something in my nose. I look, I, as is true, the lighting technician and the boom guy are in the car. I am worthless. And they saw you pick. Yeah, it's not a great story. I'm just a disgusting yeah. man. <laughs> I didn't say this was going to, believe me, this is going to be movie of the week. I picked my nose and got busted by 12 people in two minutes. I have to see them all tomorrow. And so Hey, Oney. Uh, first, I have two things. First, it's no wonder why people are jealous of you after last night, and we know who we're talking about. Wait. Two, um, I want to know, what? Rick. What? Wait, whoa, whoa, what happened? What are you talking about? Who, what? Uh, you know, the Stern guy. Oh. 
Take your set. It's no wonder why he's jealous of you guys, because last night it rocked. Oh, whatever. We like to, we just like to have fun, man. Number two, uh, Rick, how tough was it to get the blind guy down to that van last night? Because I was outside before <laughs> ONA came down. Wait, what happened? Are we missing another story? Oh, yeah. Because you guys all went back to the office, and, we were, and we, <laughs> we were trying to get the blind guys out of here. And he's hammered. Oh, and man. Dave was just hammered. And Rick had to get him going all the time down Watch there. Watch where you go. Well, Dave admitted to us today because he called Rick to ask what he did on the show yesterday. Yeah, he doesn't remember anything past like 4.30. Maybe I ought to stop the drinking thing, he's saying. <laughs> yeah. And on top Maybe of it all, guys. Slow down. Supposedly he had some painkillers, too. There's a lot of this going on. Ow! <laughs> Ow, dude, watch my back. Ah, ow. Oh, my shin. Yeah, Ben. Dave was so wasted, I come out in the hallway there, and he's out there with Earl. He's like, Earl, give me another drink, and Earl won't have any of it. He picks up his cane and starts swinging it around, and Earl, all drunk. So then I go, Dave, you, you got to chill out. He goes, I just want an effing drink. <laughs> so then at that point, he... He uh, he lights up a cigarette. I'm like, dude, you can't put out a, you can't have a cigarette. And then he's swinging at the air like that. Oh, then Jim Bolella, Jim Bolella from production goes down there. He's trying to get in the door, and he's pushing Jim out of the way. And Bro, Jim's this, an wow. this place is totally wasted. This, this place, we, we we do. Most of this stuff is videotaped. This place is turned into a mess, Jim. It's like a we're, we're, an we do a professional asylum. radio show, and we're also babysitters. Although, in fairness to Dave, 300 years ago, swinging that cane, Earl would have got him a drink. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, All right, guys. Look at you later. Oh, oh. Angelo, thank you. All right. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> Makes yeah. you long for a Corey string again. Oh. So it was tough to get him down to the van, huh? Oh man, yeah. we finally get him, we finally get him into the elevator. That was that was a chore in itself because he didn't want to go, and then he's looking for another drink and just he's, he's wait till the stuff. doors open and the empty shaft is there and tell him to step in. <laughs> he was so wasted. Hammered. He is one of those really drunk belligerent guys. Thank God. Well, not thank God he's blind, but um, sometimes I say. Thank God he's blind. Because, <laughs> you know, let me tell you something. He's standing right outside the studio when we were leaving uh, the show last oh, night. you told me this. This is funny. Sorry. And I'm walking past him trying not to make a peep or have anyone. <laughs> like someone turns around and, and goes, yo, Anthony. I'm like, shut up. Sh you know, and I walked past him because the second he heard me, he'd be like, Anthony, come here, man. Let me talk to you. And then it's just a drunken babble fest. For a half hour, and I had things to do. So you look and, like a bird, like trying to yeah. the worms. Oh, I, 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 I'm creeping. <laughs> I'm just creeping past him as slow as I could. Oh, is that? It's easy sneaking past blind people. Yeah. Hey, yeah. isn't it? Hey, Rich. Yo, dude. Uh, you've been on hold for two and a half hours. <laughs> wow. Man, dude. I've been listening to you guys for two weeks in Seattle. Oh, yeah? Wow. Are we even on in Seattle? Yeah, man. You oh, got cool. it on two weeks ago. I actually worked for the radio station. Oh, you work for the station? Yeah. Cool, man. No, no, I forget we're on in Seattle because they haven't added you to the syndication list, man. Oh, okay. But the virus has spread to Seattle and Good I think Lord. Portland. And Portland, yeah. too. Yeah, we're, we like to call ourselves a little AM station that could. What do you guys do when we go to commercials and stuff? Because we just found out yesterday... In San Francisco, we're on a tiny little AM station. Yeah. Oh, play, no, the old, the old they country They play station. really, really bad country songs and stuff. Uh, we, we play stuff like Limp Biscuit and the oh, stuff cool. you guys play. All right, good, 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 so, good. Dude. The uh, the classic rock station, our FM station, is actually selling you guys. So they're they're working on, you know, like uh, you know, the love pantry and things like that. To, what, to sell to. What, what is the love pantry? Oh, it's, you know, it's like this, you know, items shop, I guess you could say. Ah, like adult stuff? There you go, yeah. Yes. Big time toys. Right on. All right, Rich. Wait, when are you guys going to head out here? I know we've got a little bit of a following. We're going to try and go out and rent a, like a old panel van and put WOW on it on a Wednesday sometime. Well, there's quite a bit of United States of America between us and you guys. <laughs> uh, so I would say somewhere in the 2020s. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's We're a few other cities. back right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'll start the petition now. We'll get enough names out so you guys can come out. Yeah, we'll get we'll get everywhere, you, believe me. You guys get something going on, we'll come out. All right, guys. All right, Rich. All right, you suck. Thank you. Later, man. There goes Rich from Seattle. Lady Di. Oh. One half oh. of the retarded, Laverne and Shirley. Hello. Hi, Lady oh. Di. How you doing? You're the only thing that actually makes that guy grateful hey, listen, to be Hey, listen, listen. I got a question for you guys. Are you there? 
She's already started. What? what? Do you listen? I was thrown out of Hooters yesterday. We didn't do anything Lady wrong. Lady because died. you're yes. fat and awful. What? <laughs> awful. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, Jim Norton over there? Yeah. Very good. Awful. You got kicked out. Hi, Mr. Up. Burr. How you doing? Good. How oh, you? she doesn't shut up. You're so <laughs> effing annoying. Now, okay, if you, what, if what? you shut your, your craw... Okay. Uh, uh, no, that means just shut up. Don't say yeah. okay. Don't, Don't say, say nothing. Okay. Just shut just be up. Quiet. Can you please just bite off some eight-year-old's arm so you can't talk anymore? <laughs> well, we have to leave at ten o'clock anyway, but you know. We're still annoyed about that. Lady died. Yes. Shaw. You're still talking. Okay. Shut. Up. Shut. No. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> no laughing. Nothing. Just let us talk. Okay, Anthony. You were thrown out of Hooters last night. Uh, you and your annoying little cohort, like a couple of retarded, bizarro world crime fighters, you two, always together, just <laughs> effing people up. You drive them crazy. That's their secret. That's their superhero power. They drive you insane. No, we tortures. don't. I thought, it, right. I thought it was uh, Marion Saliva. <laughs> well, they have, no, that their super that. They have special on. powers unto themselves. Temporary the blindness nice. every time uh, Lady Di flashes you. You get temporarily blinded because your your own retina shuts down. They fly over rapes and kill the erection. <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> you know she's listening to the show. You know. We don't care. And then the the other one, yeah, her lisp does something to your hearing and your balance, and you just fall down like a bowling pin. Co coincidentally enough, she's got the same shape as one, a bowling pin. I don't, uh, oh, what a shame. Oops, I don't know what happened. Oh, Lady yeah. Die, not just a name, a great idea. <laughs> 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 Uncle John. Hey, Oak, how you doing? Pretty good. Uh, you were just asking about what the other stations are doing when you're on break? Yeah. I'm coming up. I got you on the Philly station right now. I'm coming up from way down South Jersey. Yeah. And they're doing weather breaks. They're saying weather on the shore on 94. Oh. Stuff like that. So. Oh, I hate huh. weather and traffic stuff. Yeah. Well, it means nothing. But hey, I'll tell you something, though, man. It was so great to, like, you know, lose a signal coming down south and pick you up on Philly. I, I, I missed about 30 seconds of the show. It's super. All we have to do is get Hartford, and you can hear the show from Boston all the way down uh, south of Washington. How cool would that be? That sounds good. That's about how far I traveled. Cool. Thanks, guys. See you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. It's, it's, it really it's stinks. It's awful. Yeah, Insurance it is. capital. I've been there. It's a creepy dump, and I hate Hartford. I'd rather miss the show than listen to it driving through Hartford. It sucks. <laughs> it is an awful little area. Yeah, yeah. It's hard. They should put chlamydia in the drinking water. <laughs> there you go. Brewer, turn my mic off. I'm sorry, I'm man. Sorry. <laughs> we like to call it the little city that could. Oh, oh yeah. The little AM station that could. Is that like a running joke around there? We like to call ourselves... Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> we Go, 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 Jim. No, I actually lost a. the foot. No, it's okay, man. It's okay. I lost the foot. <laughs> the little AM station yeah. that could. <laughs> Do everything except generate a lot of advertising dollars. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, this uh, this show has uh, an attitude. And in San Francisco, they're certainly not helping that attitude when we go to uh, commercials and they're playing country songs. Country. Stinks. Oh. Yeehaw! It's weird. There's so many gay people. It's like, it's such a, like, a, it's not a rural area yeah. at all. I know. I don't understand why they like the uh, country. Yeah. They were playing, you know, taps for a sick friend or something. I mean, that you'd expect. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right. All right, no, I, no. All right, no, I, oh, Okay. Oh, okay, now. Oh, you piped out over there. Oh, Settle down. Okay. For the love of, uh, yeah, to, for the I, love I, of Eve. Kid. Oh, <laughs> oh, I hope I didn't put the kibosh on anything. Golly, jeez. Oh, Jiminy oh, Christmas. Hey, dear. what are you driving at? That was a little, little icky. Oh, Jeepers Creepers. <laughs> what are you driving oh, at? Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we should play Brother Joe's uh, uh, Dickie Betts song. Yeah. I don't think I heard this one. It's funny. Yeah, Dickie Betts. Um, you know, no, Dickie from the Allman Brothers. He, um... He has a little hobby. It's called punching his wife in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's killer. Some people do modeling. You know, they put models together. Some people so maybe golf. Yeah. He just, he punches a whittle. They do some whittling. <laughs> but it's yeah. a great day out. Yeah. No. He prefers, you know, oh, what do I want to do today? What do I want to do? What do I got a hankering for? Oh, yeah. Uh, drinking and punching my wife in the face. 
Uh, so he recently she was driving. She was driving. How? Because he's responsible. She's driving. And she's re he's responsible. He would, you know, if he was been, had been drinking, he probably doesn't want to drive. So she's driving. They get into some kind of argument. As she's driving, he leans over and punches his wife again in the face. As he still has something going for the January punching of his wife in the face. Good boy. Uh, in court and. Uh, we saw him out at Asbury Park. He was uh, at the road show appearance we did at the Stone oh, Pony. He was playing later that night. He came on stage, had his wife with him, said hi to the crowd, sat in on the nerds uh, with the did nerds. Amazing, did amazing, amazing rambling man, like a 20-minute version. Rambling man. Then uh, he went back to his uh, room, I guess, where seconds later, a security detail from the bar ran out the door, ran to the room where Dickie was once again doing what? What? Punching his wife in the face. Very good, Norton. Good Punching boy. his wife in the face. Or as we like to call it, keeping things around the house straight. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you decide what's being watched on television. <laughs> <laughs> you calm down over there. You want to watch Lifetime, do you? You settle, settle down now. You settle down. I said yield, bitch. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Didn't you see that light? So, Brother Joe. Yeah, Brother Joe, uh, of course, um, had to make a song about it. <laughs> All right, there's Brother Joe's song. We got to take a break. We'll play What Did We Learn on the show today. How's that sound, huh? An education. Opie Anthony. Their psychosis is all real. This is not an act. Ponderous. Effing ponderous. <laughs> the Opie and Anthony Show. Uh, Anthony SummerSlam, WWF pay per view this ha uh, happening this Sunday, huh? Yeah. Sponsored by Chef Boy RD. Chef Boy RD, the pay per view event of the summer, finally here as the World Wrestling Federation presents SummerSlam live this Sunday. Sponsored by, yes, Chef Boy RD. The Rock is back in his pay per view, uh, first pay per view since WrestleMania. Finally, Team uh, WWF looks to lay the smacketh down on the Alliance as The Rock and Booker T vie for the WCW Championship. Then, ever since Stone Cold Steve Austin turned his back on the WWF, Kurt Angle made it a personal mission to teach the Rattlesnake a lesson and return the WWF Championship to the Federation. Plus, Diamond Dallas Page has stalked The Undertaker's wife, Sarah, all summer long. Taker now has a chance to exact his vengeance in a steel cage tag team title for title match. Will Undertaker and Kane stay focused on the titles? Or will their hatred for DDP and Canyon get the best of them? Hmm? WWF SummerSlam live this Sunday, 8 p.m. Call your local pay-per-view provider to order. Opie and Anthony, every afternoon, including Saturday afternoon, 1027 WNEW. Hey, you're checking out the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> I'm Sam Fear, master of the pan flute. <laughs> I rule. I'm rocking. 
rocking. <laughs> the master Zampia. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we want to thank Jim Brewer for stopping by. Brewer! Right there, Brewer! What a pisser, man. Go Come check out the tour. Starts yeah. September 5th. Getting ready to go on tour with a tour bus and everything, man. Heavy metal comedy tour. God damn. He's bringing the band. Bringing the band. Heavy oh, metal comedy tour. Heavy metal comedy. Jim Brewer! Jim Brewer! Jim Brewer on the tour Tell bus you alone. Jackin. 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 Nothing but jackin'. Tim Brewer. <laughs> Talking about rock hopping. <laughs> Scream amazing, dude. Go to jimbrewer.com. Yeah. B-R-E-U-E-R.com. Very, very good. We have to play What Did We Learn Today because there's a lot of good ones. I'll start it off with Joe from Bayside. Today okay. I learned this one is not this one. That one is this one. <laughs> he was here right from the start of the show, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> He's right, too. Real quick. Hold on. Yes, hold on. Sir. I didn't have your mic on. I was scared to put your mic on this segment. <laughs> this is why I, I this is why I absolutely love the listeners. I, I everyone knows I gave out a, 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 an email address, tinkledrinker at AOL.com. Right. People IM me. This guy fan I asked me yesterday, like, yeah, you're a great comic. And he said, you know, you've really influenced me. I'm, I'm standing in front of an elevator, and there's an Asian woman, and she's pregnant. And I really wanted to punch her in the stomach to see what would happen. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> this, is, this is what this guy instant messaged me, and he said that I've really influenced him. And I just wanted to say, you should have done it. The horrible people that you are influencing, Jim. I love it. I Jim, love it. Is beyond... Beyond human. One less bad driver after that good punch in the belly. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> we almost got through an entire show. I think Bill O'Reilly should talk to you. This stinks. Anthony, um, Steve writes, what did I learn on the show today? Well, Boston's not a stupid city. Opie doesn't acknowledge his last name, and the AP is News Aids. News Aids. Uh, Tuttle learned... Before becoming a rock star, Marilyn Manson was a writer on Three's Company. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the phones. Patrick. Hey, I learned stinky rules at Sodomy. Stinky <laughs> rules. Hey, there's a station in Detroit ripping off Wow. There's a lot yeah. of stations. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, it's so funny. Whipping Out Wednesday is about six years old now, and uh, a bunch of stations just do Wow. Other stations just change it and call take them out Thursdays or throw them out Thursdays, throw them out Thursdays, take them out Tuesdays, or flip them out Fridays. Fridays. All right, seriously, guys, Stinky, Stinky's the best producer in radio. Right on, man. <laughs> Andy, what's up? Hey guys, what's up? Hey. Um, I learned today that if Ben Franklin was still alive, he would have a big wow sticker on the back of his big Continental. Word. Okay, <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, rules. That's out of me. Let's go to John. John, what did you learn today? John? Yeah, I learned uh, they should put chlamydia in Hartford's drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> put chlamydia in there. <laughs> thank you. All right, peace. All right, Spanish John writes. I learned Rick held a a, a purse hostage. <laughs> West Coast Dave, today I learned that if my wife ever catches me beating my mule, I should just tell her that I'm napping. <laughs> Jersey Gary, Brewer sporting his summer dew. Nice head, dick. And also to never argue with your wife girlfriend while you're naked. <laughs> no. <laughs> Hold on, let's go to Philly. Gotta go to Philly. Philly, Mike, Yo. what's up? Yo, I learned that Jim Brewer needs to get some effing locks in his house. Oh, needs to get some effing locks in his house, yeah. I, I learned that uh, to beat my meat, the wife thing, but uh, somebody already said it. Mike, man, you had a great one. That's the reason we went to you. It says I know, somebody script. already stole it, though. Not really. It says, if, I caught, if I'm caught, say, look what you're, you're making me do. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good line right there. I know, I wanted to say it, but somebody ruined it. They didn't really say it that way. All right. Thanks, Mike. All right, Opie, Opie, Opie. First of all, huh? it's huh? Philly, okay? What so else? it's been only 50 shows, and they're getting very involved in what did we learn. And you can't be too overcritical, okay? Anthony, please. Yes. 52 shows. 52 shows. <laughs> Rain Man of Radio, Opie. Sean, what's going on? Yeah, today I learned that uh, 
suspension really equals vacation. You guys suck. There you go, Philly, coming in with a good one. Suspension does indeed equal vacation. Yeah, the the station we used to work at in uh, Boston AF, they do fake suspensions with their jocks and stuff. More trying to make them seem outrageous. So uh, you'll notice they never go on vacation. Like everybody in radio goes on vacation, but you'll notice they never say I'm going on vacation. They're always um, sus I was suspended. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be back, but if I'm going to be back, it'll be uh, uh, a week from Monday. Whoa, I got suspended because <laughs> I broke into the boss's office and stole these concert tickets. And we'll give them away twice an hour all week long, <laughs> even though he's pissed. And, and even the boss will run a promo about how I stole the tickets. <laughs> what a tool. Uh, my new deal just came in, and every year I now get three weeks suspension. <laughs> <laughs> Pain. And you know I'm right because your old partner Birdsy called me and told me we'll just uh, we'll keep filling people in on the fake radio you've had to endure, especially up there in Boston, as uh, we try to we try to make the commute a little fun, <laughs> keeping it real. <laughs> What do you think? What do you think? Brewer talking about jacking it and getting caught by his wife is phony. You don't make that crap up. Hey man, we worked on that. What are you doing? We worked on we worked on that script for four hours today. Yeah, yeah. everyone handled it beautifully. I, I passed out the scripts and everyone. Uh, you you know. did a great job. Thank you. Came you. In oh, yeah. Just yeah, when, yeah, yeah, thanks. And that call you gave me last night to make sure I got caught digging in my nose like a four-year-old. <laughs> yeah, it all worked out so well. Hey, shut up! Everything I do is real. <laughs> Anyway, get back in the kitchen. <laughs> Remember the fake Chinese food call that he did. And he called a Chinese restaurant. And here's here's a little secret about uh, what uh, Rock Hole does over there. He'll call up like a Chinese restaurant and just talk normally. Hey, you got any you got any uh, Chinese food over there? Oh, yes, we got Chinese food. Yeah, you got some of that egg foo young? Yes, we have that. You got a cheeseburger? No, no, nothing like that. Okay, and then he'll cut out everything he said and add in things like, Hey, Wang, you take it in the dumper? <laughs> oh, yes, we do that. <laughs> so it's like, Hey, I sure got Wang. <laughs> Meanwhile, it, it's just so phony and fake. Is this Frank? <laughs> no, it's Rocco. <laughs> no, you sound like Frank. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> and some of it is really bad. It's like, so Wang, did you nail your old lady last night? Uh, yes, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Only so you her gave her a good one? Uh, well, yes. <laughs> like it won't even fit, like the, the tone of his voice. <laughs> you douchebag. Phony. Glowed. <laughs> Hello, uh, hello, is it Frank? Can you hear the anger in our voices? Yeah, yeah we yeah, love being back. We love yeah. being back. We get fired in Boston and no, back, no one's stomping no ground. No one sticks up for us. us they, up. they stab us in the back. Dude, the, I'll tell the you. The guy that took our slot, he never called us to say, hey, dude, you know, sorry. He fit right man. in. Welcome he stopped he, while we were really suspended. Believe me, before we got fired, right before we got fired, yeah. we were off for a week because they were hashing out who else they were going to fire along with us. And, um... Rockhole gets in our three to seven slot and starts just running. It's Rocco promos, <laughs> like not even. Hey, hey I'm still, sitting in for O and A. It was still, you know, hopefully uh, our whole anchor of the F and station will be back at some point. You know, but I'm sitting in. We're pulling for them. No. Yeah, I'm pulling <laughs> for them. It was still officially our. Hey, show. it's Rocco three to seven. Check me out <laughs> as I stab O and A in the back too, just like every other scumbag. <laughs> <in here. laughs> well, you'll be. Exposed for the phony loser you are, uh, and you could sink along with that station. And Dave Dickless, Mr. Program Director Genius. How hard is it to keep those uh, record company relationships up when uh, the guy that did everything, John Ostel in the Ozone, is uh, gone from your station? Must be pretty hard. Must be hard, the record companies knowing they can work a rube like you, like nothing. So you guys are all on good terms. <laughs> Tools. Guy never called us. Our, our own boss never calls. Oh, he fired. called once when we got well, suspended to tell Opie to lie, to fabricate stories to save his own ass when we got fired. That's what we deal right, with. We'll get out of here. We'll get out of here. How do we get on this? You gets me fired up. Burr.
pretty funny, man. Hey, New York, listen up, man. Brewer's in the studio. He's going to go on a uh, rock and roll comedy tour. We we saw like a version of this, or is it the same type of thing? Because we yeah, saw it's it already. Right. It's more unbelievable. Of the rock and stuff. It's on F and believable. Cool. Uh, it's going to start the whole tour at the Vanderbilt in Plainview on Long Island, September fifth. And we're all definitely going there to support Brewer. We got we're a couple pairs of hammered. We got a couple pairs of tickets to give away right now to some random callers if you call the New York number. Okay, Jim Brewer, Vanderbilt uh, Theater, Wednesday, September fifth. Tickets are on sale now through Ticketmaster. Get them fast; they're going to sell out. How's that for a plug? That was a major <laughs> plug, Dick. Nice, that nice, was nice. Oh, that was mint. Have a great weekend. That we got to get the mint. hell out of here, yeah. Brewer. Remember that mint? You rule, <laughs> dude. That guy. That was me. Dude, get bent. Yeah, get bent. <laughs> ah, get good bent. one. Hey, get got, bent. Hey, I got to include Boston. You guys are wicked cool. I'll see you <laughs> six. You know what we do here? Absolutely nothing. That's wonderful, isn't it? It's You'll be an Anthony Show. 1027 WNEW announces our new fall lineup. Sports guys mornings. Don and Mike middays. Opie and Anthony afternoons. Ron and Fez nights. 1027 WNEW. Hey, Anthony, Sam Adams. I love it. Uh, what what do I have in my hand right now? It's Friday, so I love having a nice beer to start off the weekend. And uh, what am I drinking? Take Sam Adams. It no. is indeed a Sam Adams. Let me enjoy it here for the people at home. Oh, boy. That is good. That is good. Uh, it's icy cold. Sam, I got the lager here. Mm -hmm. I like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. They got the summer ale. Bunch of beers from Sam Adams. Jim Cook, the head of the uh, operation over there. He's uh, usually drunk off his ass, but he's a genius. <laughs> he's, uh, he's a functional drunk, I'll tell you that, because he's been whipping up some great beer for a, for a few years. Trade up for all your parties, sporting events, uh, summer uh, activities. you got to make it Sam Adams, a great American beer. Have some pride. Have some pride, fast times. Sam Adams.